Welcome to a Song of Ice and Fire Symposium. My name is Nav, and my pronouns are they, them. And my name's Harmit, and my pronouns are her, she, like the chocolate. And my name is Emily, and my pronouns are she, her. And this is A Storm of Swords, chapters 55, 55. and 56, John and Bran. In these chapters... More death than dreams. Yay. <laughs> and also Sucks. we have Emily, which is a real hey. yay. Oh, thank you. Right. This is exciting. My, my Game of Thrones podcast sister brother <laughs> sibling that we didn't know about for a while <laughs> yeah we found each other it happened <laughs> we did we found each other it was faded you know while we lived across the world <laughs> literally uh, across the we're world. much closer <laughs> i remember recording with you for the first time and your daughter hadn't even yes. been born yet and you were in japan no. and mm -hmm. i think it was like 11 p.m. your time and like 8 a.m. my time some some wild <laughs> timing like that mm -hmm. yeah I was pregnant recording <laughs> in Japan at whatever time people were available <laughs> because I had nothing else to do <laughs> yes. it was a good way to pass the time though it was great and and yeah you, who would have thought that having a kid really narrows down your time <laughs> that you can record a podcast so I missed those mornings of getting up and recording with people who were you know across the world and it was their nighttime and it was my morning I just had my cereal and I was like I'm chilling <laughs> so couldn't do that after the, after the baby was born yeah but you're more accessible in a more accessible time zone now so that's great yes yes back in the U.S. <laughs> yeah so welcome to the podcast everyone as you can tell we have Emily with us today and it's a very exciting day on our 101st episode the first one in this Woo! century <laughs> Oh my Yay. god. <laughs> Can you believe we've done a hundred of these? It's so wild. I don't... That scares me. <laughs> that's like hundreds, that's hundreds so of much, hours like, of that's just so us much talking. time. But what's scary is you're not in, even done like... with the books. Yeah. We're, pro we're like halfway. God. We're like literally just halfway now. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> I don't like time, so thinking about such a gigantic chunk of it is scary. Yeah. Well, these books yeah. time is irrelevant, <laughs> so it's fine. True. A little bit. True. A little bit. A little bit. I'm sure less so in the book versus <laughs> the series, but Yeah. So we'll we'll get to that in a second. But first mm. I want to start off with everybody's favorite segment of who died in these chapters. <laughs> I'm sorry, Harmon. Um, okay. <laughs> well, he great. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Honestly, low key didn't even phase me <laughs> because of like I genuinely was like okay, but I think it's just because we like just like you know you've just been numb to all the deaths. You come down. I think I think now I'm just kind of like okay. Well, it would be weird if she hadn't died, you know. Makes sense. Um, mm -hmm. but I like I hate that because I feel like me and any other series would be like, <gasps> like John lost his like one. You know what I mean? Like I'd actually care about the romance, but in this series, it's just like you're so far into survival mode that you're just like, is mm -hmm. anybody even alive? Like I'm like now I've now I'm like okay, sorry tangent. <laughs> so John's gonna die. And what? I'm, like, I'm, not, like, right away, but eventually, like, John's gonna die, and Sansa's gonna die, and Brian's gonna die as soon as I start caring about him, and Rickon's gonna die as soon as I'm like, you know what, at least we have Rickon. And then there will literally be no Starks. So is what? that where the books are gonna end, when the Starks are dead? I don't, I don't know. It's just okay. a countdown of all the Starks dying. Okay. Yeah, so, I don't know, I'm having a lot of... I don't like that. You're a big crisis in faith. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> sorry. Um, Ygritte is dead. That was the point. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, she's dead. Um, a bunch of Magmar, the free folk and um, the Thens. I don't and... remember any of the others' names, but yeah, the Thens, free folk. 
Oh um, no, the thens. <laughs> how Dang am I it. gonna go on? <laughs> okay, and Kill then me now. Couple... <laughs> and then there is a couple of there must have been. Yeah, like uh like, like the Night's, Night's Watch, Watch people, people died. Forget, the one guy people. who he called Deaf Dick, which why? <laughs> why? <laughs> Fucking rude. <laughs> um that guy died like, and others also. Yeah. Um a few of them. But and then yeah. who was the second chapter? Who did we read? Bran. Bran. This is gonna be a great summary. <laughs> um it's fine. Bran Who died in Bran's chapter? I don't think anybody died, but we heard about, like, a lot of deaths from thousands of years past. Yeah, Bran really said, I'm going to be a history prof, and (laughs) there is nobody stopping me. Yeah. Um, Okay, so those are the deaths. Now, Emily, I want to get to you first. So this was the first Mm. time that you were reading anything, like, any of the chapters in any of the books. (gasps) How was that yes. experience? What was the most surprising? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Give it a... Um, I... <laughs> You're trying to I think of a nice how... way to say you hated it. <laughs> no, I didn't hate it. Um, I was surprised because I, I was telling both of you all that before I was annoyed that the chapters weren't numbered because I was trying to find my chapters that I was supposed to read. And so I would accidentally like skim some. And I was surprised that some of them were so short. Mm-hmm. You know, like there was a chapter that was like four pages or something or five pages. And I'm like, oh, OK, well, you know, maybe this isn't so bad to read if like some of them are this like, like I liked how short they were. So that was because mm-hmm. if I only had to read two, I don't know why I was thinking like, oh, my God, I'm going to have to read like 50 pages or something like that. <laughs> and it's going to like really take me a long time. These I read were this during my daughter's nap. A couple of the so. longer ones. So like others oh. tend to be much shorter. These are longer for sure. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. OK, so you guys really get into it. But, but a lot <laughs> You're like, how do you get two hours of audio out of these every time? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> You know my episodes are usually three hours long, and I watch a one-hour show, so no, don't worry about that. But the show um, condenses what would be, like, ten chapters into, like, one episode. Yeah, so if you're exactly. doing that in three hours, that's, like, wow. Like, that's it's, a lot it's of edited. condensing. Um, <laughs> it's editing. Yes, it's editing. Um, the magic of editing. Um, I find that uh, I, I don't think I enjoy his writing which I was pretty sure I wouldn't because most people that I've seen compare him to Tolkien and I do not enjoy Tolkien's writing. Yeah, fair um, enough. There, it's a lot so, of descriptions. Yes, and I was finding myself kind of skipping ahead in John's chapter with all the action because I didn't... <laughs> it, was, it was a little unclear. I felt like I wasn't really sure what was happening sometimes and then I just was like, okay, what, what's happening next? Yeah. Um, but then all the stuff with Bran that was kind of more like descriptive and clear of like the interaction with him and Sam and that I enjoyed pretty well um so part of me was like oh you know maybe I could read through these kind of quickly because I kind of know what's gonna happen but then Mm -hmm. part of me is like I don't know if I could get through his his (laughs) these are big ass books and if I don't enjoy his his literature then I I don't know um totally so it's really got me on the fence about like Will I? Should I read? I don't know. Um, I will say, usually I'm not a fan of the audiobook. It just the the narrator ha- makes so many mm. has the worst voices. Everybody sounds like a pirate, <laughs> and he just <laughs> mispronounces everybody's names to a point where it's grating. He says Peter Baelish is Patire, <laughs> or occasionally <What>? Patar. <laughs> <laughs> Which sounds like Petard to me. Um, I would Brienne call him Petard, honestly. Is Brian. Fuck that guy. <laughs> Brian. It's just, it's horrible. <laughs> okay. Oh That's pretty so, bad. So it, it can be like grating to read some of these, but uh, to listen to that. But for the John chapter, since it was so much action and I didn't need to pay attention to all the details, it actually helped me get through mm-hmm. the chapter better because I could just be like, That's- you know, uh, fight by like fight, die, 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 die. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> right. Yeah. But then also I thought that reading it in some ways showed more emotion, but then also in some ways showed less emotion because sometimes reading something like Igreet's death 
can be more sudden Mm -hmm. reading it versus seeing it. Um, Yeah. Or I I don't know. It was like because like because, you know, if if the acting is good, you can see the emotion. But if the writing just isn't good, then you can't see this. I was like, oh, this is interesting. Like you're in their head, which is a new thing for me too, Mm -hmm. uh, to be in a character's head for once. Finally seeing what the fuck Jon Snow's thinking about. Um, but, I was thinking about you so much and all your... Um, Emily was not a fan Snow. of Kit Harington's acting. No. Really? It's not in the first little bit. First couple seasons. Oh my god, like, I wasn't even paying I'm attention so to the acting. I just have my mouth open the whole time. <laughs> I, oh, when we gosh. watched the first episode, I wasn't even paying attention to the acting. Every few seconds, I'd just turn to Nev and I'd be like, this man is so hot. <laughs> oh, so well, I'm not on that train. <laughs> yeah. So I was not paying attention to his acting. Cannot speak You're to with that. most people. You, you are the, you're the majority. I am the That's angry so minority. The people are like, what is wrong with you? That's so funny. No, yeah. I love that. I love that. Be divisive. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I am. <laughs> as you are as well. <laughs> it's the only way to be, honestly. Exactly. So mm. what did you think of these chapters, Harmuth, since you are a veteran of the books themselves, but not these mm-hmm. particular chapters? They were long. <laughs> they were like, long. Like, I'm with Emily on that. <laughs> like, I was like, what? Because I always, you know, I need to like be like, okay, how much time am I going to spend on these? Because I'm like, I can't. Because if I didn't give myself a time limit for reading, I would dwell. Like, nobody's mm. business. Mm-hmm. So I, uh, first thing I do is like, how many pages are these? And these were like, wait. 15, these were like 37 20. pages. And oh. usually we read like. 27 26 like i would say so i was like whoa these chapters are long and usually the first chapter we read tends to be longer than the second chapter we read like not on purpose i think i think it just happens that way but in this case it was the opposite so mm-hmm. sam's chapter felt you mean brands no Bran, sorry sorry we saw sam so i got confused yeah. brands chapter felt so long because also with all of his stories like love the lore great yeah. i just there was a there was a little bit too many of the stories and oh. i know you're like oh my god this but hurts I my just, heart a little because the brand chapter that. is legit one of my favorites like top 10 in the entire series really? <laughs> i just part. love the vibe it's like remember when you guessed that this series was going to be like a horror story that yeah. ep- that chapter is like the most horror esque, and it it's just oh, yeah. I love the spooky vibes. It's so good. Yeah. yeah, but then they're but then they but then they have Sam in a net. Like yeah, there's a Sam cameo. Sam Who doesn't net? love that? No, I li- yeah. like okay. I liked it. I was just kind of like, let's. There are too many. Like if he had like because he had maybe I would say he had like seven entire stories in there. Maybe if he had like five, <laughs> I would have been okay with it. I you think know? there were there weren't seven. You're I don't ex- think there were seven. <laughs> I think there were like felt like there were seven. Three or four. <laughs> okay, he I named, would count. He named we the titles see. of probably seven, but I don't think he said the entirety of all seven. <laughs> it felt like there was a lot. I was like there I'd be like, oh my god, like he hears the voice, he hears the voice, what's the voice? And then he'd be like This reminds Bob the me of a this. story. <laughs> yeah, Bob's <laughs> I don't know. I think I was trying to say Brandon the Builder, and then Bob came out. <laughs> it's fine. But, yeah, it was... But I did enjoy them. I did like um, John's a little bit more. Well, but you John are a John Snow boy. fan, girl, so we know John you're going to like boy. those. Okay, okay, good to know. Good to know. I already yeah. shit-talked him, apparently. Oh, so. no, it's great, because no, I am you, Emily, it. all the time. No, 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 go for it. <laughs> Go for no. it. I love it. It just increases her love for him because she gets to defend him. <laughs> exactly. Mm, mm, okay. Um, I chose these chapters to cover with you, Emily, because they're the most kind of self-contained. The other ones are very political and it's easy to forget what's happening when because the show like just kind of messes with all the timelines. And just yeah, time's like, irrelevant. That's my catchphrase <laughs> Exactly. That so I was trying to think of something that would oh, yeah. like be 
standalone. Like, like I said, I love that brand chapter. So I thought it was going to be a hit, but that's okay that it's not, it doesn't have to be. Um, and also one. that no, they're bad. just kind of on their own. It's fine. There's other I'm people sorry. out there that agree with me. I, I need love you to that agree you with me. love the brand chapter. <laughs> I will love it through you. And that's all I can say. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> so do you want to summarize emily do you want to summarize can emily <laughs> summarize oh shit what if no. you each summarized one chapter okay okay we'll give emily the honor how much of time do i get 30 how much seconds time <laughs> Fuck. okay that's um, me every time emily <laughs> okay god i feel like i'm in college again <laughs> it's um, okay i did the reading i did the reading i promise <laughs> Uh, <laughs> weren't you an the, English major as well I was yes. please yes. that's so funny that's why oh you're giving me God. college anxiety no um, yeah oh, I can do a very short summary I think okay sure. which one I'll do, do you the first want? chapter All right, I'll do the first good. one if you want I'll count oh, it oh wait no Harmut do you want your boys chapter <laughs> no she doesn't I'm, you can pick you're I'm the guest I'm happy with whatever you want to do sure I'll do the first one sure <clears throat> okay alright Emily Three, two, one, go. Okay, so this is John's chapter. He's chilling on the wall and Mole's town's being destroyed. So that's exciting. <laughs> and he's hurt, I guess, from when Egret... I don't remember why he's he hurt. He ran he's hurt. away he's from around. the wildlings and Egret was mad and shot him. Oh, great. Okay, that's what I thought it was going to be. So he was shot and he's all sad. And uh, he's like, but I can still fight. So he's got all his dudes, and they're like waiting, and they have scarecrows up at the wall. Yeah, uh, to and make that's them think that there's more seconds, people. But I'll Fuck. give you thirty more. <laughs> okay, they're attacked, and Egret dies. Oh wow! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> See, you that got to beautiful. the point. You didn't try that to dwell. That was beautiful. You really said done. <laughs> Over. Yeah, I well, you know. That's beautiful. Take notes, that Harma. So take notes. Fast. <laughs> no, that's right? hard. When when I felt you wow. start, I was like, oh, you're pulling a Harmit. <laughs> like as soon as you said, this is John's chapter, and then what did you say, John? John's chilling. I was like, what I always say is chilling, John's yeah. here. Or John, <laughs> oh, okay. what do I say? I yeah, say, John's, I say there, John's there, here, and this person's there, and, and that person's <laughs> there. And as soon as I start using those fillers, my thirty seconds go. <laughs> yeah, would you name like five characters? You're like, oh, I'm I'm done. Exactly. All I've done <laughs> okay. is name the characters. But you got yeah. the spirit um, of it at the end. <laughs> No, the end was beautiful. I was I warming up to now. that, and then I, yeah. Well, because I, I don't remember any of those guys' names that he was, like, fighting with and stuff. And <laughs> so I was bad. like, I don't know who you are. Satin? Satin, satin like, yeah. Satin? Like the cloth. Okay, I wasn't sure it was, like, Moulin Rouge. Um, <laughs> satin. So, I don't know. Oh, my God. Okay, <laughs> Harmuth, you do oh, no. brands. I don't remember anything. Okay, Bran. Um, Three, two, one, go. Bran, okay, they approach Night Castle, whatever. Um, they get in there, has a hole, they have a fire. Um, Sam comes up the, oh, they're like reciting, oh, I saw John, oh my god, oh, you saw John. Um, he's like, ah, oh, I'm afraid, all of his stories. And then freaking Sam gets caught in Mira's fishnet. And then Sam's like, oh, you're Jon Snow's brother. And then he's like, okay, now I trust you. I'll go with you to the coat cloak, whatever his name was, coat cloak. Cold, Cold hands. Cloak? Cold, Cold oh. hands. <laughs> Where did I get close? Well, hands. that's I'll it. Go with you. That's they thirty seconds. Oh. <laughs> yeah, okay. you did pretty yes. good. I don't know. If I you know. missed all of the wonderful stories, but fine. Okay. <laughs> she said there were stories. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I got them all in one <laughs> breath. <laughs> oh I God. think the rat cook deserves his own thirty seconds. Okay. You know what? Rat cook was funny. That was that was funny. Yeah. And okay, That's anyway, the only one they kept in the show. Oh, I don't, I don't even remember what they kept or didn't keep. That's the only because I remember I was like, oh yeah, because in the show it felt like such a filler that they were talking about some some story, and I was like, what is this stuff with Brent? Like, what's going on here? And that scene, and they're like, oh, the rat cook, and I was like, what is this? So I it it pinged my like, oh, I remember the scene in the show and what was happening, mm -hmm. and they did talk about a story, but they didn't embellish as many. And of course, you're not in the character's brain as well, right. so you don't know what what a, he's remembering. Yeah, I just love all this like 
any of old Nan's stories, I can just have books and books of them. I would be so, so entertained. Okay, so let's just, let's get into the chapters. And I'm going to try to get through the John one because it's really a lot of the fight, 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 die, die, die business. But uh, we'll just get through it. So he he's up on the King's Tower and everybody's kind of stationed around up on the towers writing ready to defend and they're watching Mole's town burn and they know the you know the wildlings are coming up the road and they're just waiting to be attacked which is the worst kind of waiting and uh he's like oh well we might still die but at least we know we're gonna die this time instead of being butchered (laughs) in our beds which yeah right like what the fuck john (laughs) i want to go to like things in the show and just like insert these like pieces of internal dialogue next to Kit Harrington's face at all like multiple like intervals and just see what that's like. <laughs> he like looks out past the wall and he's like, at least we're not gonna die in our beds. <laughs> it's oh like, God. huh? <laughs> what a day! I did my due diligence. <laughs> you're oh. welcome, <laughs> Westeros. Yeah, and then somebody's Please. like, okay, you're hurt, but you gotta fight because we need everybody who knows how to. St- Stick it with the pointy end, which is basically what he said to Arya that one time. Remember when These John callbacks was funny? aren't cute anymore. <laughs> These callbacks aren't cute anymore. I'm like, don't think about Arya anymore. She's dead, dude. Maybe but they'll reunite on. in death or something. I don't want that. That's not, like, something to look forward to. Right. Okay, so he's thinking about Egret and he's t- like mentally being like, just stay away from here. You'll find nothing but death. And I was like, wait, <laughs> foreshadowing or something. Yeah. Or John's but also, just being the emo kid he is. Yeah, that. Thank you. Okay, sorry. Um, no, I yeah, acknowledge that he's like an emo, like needs okay. to- you know, but I'm just okay. okay with that. All right, all right, you're into it. Cool, cool, cool. Um, yeah, I was like, do you really think she's not gonna avoid a fight, my guy? And she like, wants to fight you specifically. Yes, <laughs> you and everyone else, because she thinks they they did. I mean, they kind of do. Politics aside, like this, she believes this should happen, and she's mm-hmm. like one of their best. friends. She's an amazing archer. Like, come on. She's not going to stay away from this shit. Yeah. So they've got the scarecrows that Emily mentioned, which is they have so So much like extra armor that they're like, let's dress up these straw people to make it look like we have more people than we actually do, (laughs) which is is desperate times. Yeah. It's Mr. Eamon's notion, which is, you know, he's a good one. All right. Yeah. I'm a fan. And um, John's up at his, up on his tower with six c- scarecrows and like two other people. One of them is I'm gonna call him Fallard by his last name because Deaf Dick is just no. Rude. And Satin, who is like the other person. Um, there's like a whole like description of him. He used to be a sex worker in Old Town or something. And he's older than John, but he doesn't have as much experience. So, like, he's taking orders was, from John. Was he the one that they said he's as pretty as a woman with yeah. long hair? And this yeah. and I was like, what the fuck, yeah. George? Yeah, R. why R. does Martin? it need like, to be go that? Go fuck yourself. Like, Honestly. any other description is better than that. Like, come on. Yep. Sorry. Yep. Yeah. Uh, agreed. And <laughs> <laughs> I honestly, everything, Emily, that you have to say. Uh, we have been saying for three years now because it's like so Word. consistently just over <laughs> yeah, and over and exactly. over again. We're like, like I w- I didn't even like that didn't even hit me like just a, just it happened so much, you know. Wow. Yeah, okay. to give you yeah. like a sense of it, we had to be inside Theon Greyjoy's head. Yeah, and Early we on Theon Greyjoy. Yeah. yeah, we did not love it. So I would neither. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I mean, my, yeah. My whole first first season and a half was fuck that guy. So yeah, I can I can see that. Yeah. So anyway, they're uh, getting ready and you know preparing the oil and the pitch and the whatevers you got to do to fight. And they find like the castle itself doesn't have a wall, but they've kind of barricaded themselves to this one area with just like their stock of things because they need somewhere to like hide behind. 
Um, <laughs> it's it's a really sad defense because we got yeah. the numbers in the last chapter, which Emily, you were not here for. But there's 40 people left at the wall, all of whom uh. are either children, old people, or injured. <laughs> Now, in this chapter, they have the people of Molestown join them, which, like, is better, but not by much, because they're not experienced warriors either. Um, and apparently some people from Molestown chose not to leave and probably got killed, so that's not fun. So he's thinking about Donald Noy, who's a cool guy, and how he has a lord's voice. And we get throughout the chapter these like glimpses of things that Ned used to tell him and mm. Rob. And it's like, yeah. oh, he's dead now, and Rob's dead now. So I guess John's the only one to kind of carry <laughs> forth this knowledge, which Don't is whatever. Don't say that! I can't! Because <laughs> Ned's been gone for so long that it's like, a, like I can be like, Aw, Ned, instead of, fuck Joffrey. Fuck, you know what I mean? Like, it, it goes to, aw, Ned. But with Rob, it's like, it's too fresh. <laughs> yeah, but he, like Ned used to say, that, you know, a commander's got to have a good voice so that everybody can actually hear what's being said, because otherwise it doesn't matter how good of a commander they are. And this Donald Noy guy is really good at that, so that's good. And... What else? They get brought up a meal, which, like, uh, oh, yeah. brought, brought, brought up by a guy named Owen, which is such a, like, regular name for this universe. <laughs> just like an Owen. Yeah. Um, oh, my God. And uh, John's like, oh, this is our last meal. <laughs> this might be our last meal. He's I just can't. doing that oh, whole thing. And um, there's another... Oh, yeah. Owen is talking about how, like... Oh, won't the king, King Robert, come help us? Because Maester Eamon sent him our bird. And all, like, John can say it, say is, yep, he sure did. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. And yeah, they've sent ravens, like, like everywhere, but nobody can get there that fast. So even if help is coming, it's not coming right now. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, finally, it's night. The attack is upon them. The... Free folks start like, you know, slowly coming up and John's picking them out and shooting arrows at them one by one. And then they're getting overwhelmed by just the sheer amount of people that are being that are attacking them. And um, J oh, John also has a throwback to Theon like, oh, Theon was a good yeah. hunter, wasn't he? <laughs> oh it's because he's heard all about. Good like, times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's Maybe weird that he can kind of think of that and not just immediately be like, oh, yeah. yeah. Um, and then Satin gets somebody and gets really excited. I got one. I got one. And John yeah. just says, get another. Get another. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. That was um, good. Then the Fallard guy, he dies. Okay. Question. Uh-huh. So. Okay. So with, like, Magnar's party, like, all of those people, were those not all Fens? Like, no. am I just remembering Remember uh, the guy who helped climb? Because, like, Ygritte is Oh, the is guy not... he hated! Yeah, and then so there they were had, half like, a whole of guys. <gasps> yeah, sorry, Emily, oh. this is not relevant to you because it doesn't get the no. specific. <laughs> Magnar. Uh, Magnar of Fens. No, no. Magnar's a Then, okay. So there's the Thens and there's other free folk who are not specifically yeah. Thens that are with them. And right. Ygritte is well, one of them. Right, yeah, because it was, it was like all the, the free folk under Mance and then he had the Thens as well. Okay, I don't know. I wasn't sure if they had changed a name or something. So I was like, I don't know. Who yeah, <laughs> no, Magnar about. of Thens, like that's just the guy's is title. Okay. Um, oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. Yeah, Magnar just sense. means Lord or whatever. Mm. Oh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Because I spent this whole chapter being like, how are there free folk? Is this a coordinated attack? Like, but I was like, oh my don't God. Don't you remember Ygritte? Like, here. you know Ygritte's not a thing. Okay, yeah, but I wasn't, like, thinking about her, you know? I was just like, oh, there's how the fence. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just, you know, 
And then I was like, whatever, no time to think about that. Let's move on <laughs> instead of like thinking about it. Yeah. Um. Anyway, it's so fine. at one point, John mm. like glimpses Egrid and he like has a target on her, but he can't make himself shoot. So he's like, oh, no, of course he's not. <laughs> yeah. No. But he's feeling all um conflicted about it and whatnot. All types of ways. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As he does usually. And then like... <laughs> The Thens, like, bust into, like, the tower they're in, and they have to pour boiling oil down on them. And oh it's, God. um, yay. Yep. <laughs> this was, it was, like, a moment of victory, but, like, wow, you know? Yeah. Nobody's happy about it. <laughs> yeah. Um, one of the Night's Watch guys named Rast, who I don't know if either of you remember him, but he was a terrible guy, not the best. Uh, and he used yeah, to bully Sam a lot, and he dies, mm-hmm. so I was like, you know what? That's that's good riddance, honestly. <laughs> yeah, because something different happens to him in the show. I don't remember, honestly. <laughs> yeah, but I, I remember not like, I was like, I know that name. Yeah, don't like him. That yeah. Guy. Um, and then when the attack is like really gets really intense, all the people from Molestown flee because they're panicking and they don't know what to do. And then seeing yeah. them, some of the Night's Watch also flee and they're fleeing up the wall because that's like the only place to go. Um, and eventually, what is it? Oh, yeah, eventually, like, all the Thens start following them up the wall, too, up the steps, the wooden steps. And apparently, the Night's Watch had this plan that they were going to retreat really high and then burn the steps and kill everybody on them, which is what they do. So they start firing fire arrows at the stairs and at the stuff kind of piled beneath the stairs so that there's no escape. And there's this uh, horrible, (laughs) but, like, a uh, very like visually like it made me visualize the, visualize the situation really well little like phrasing it says with the flames below and flames above the wildlings had nowhere to go some continued upward and died some went downward and died some stayed where they were nice. they died as well <laughs> yeah um and then with all the fire and the heat like a third of the wall a whole like sheet of the wall just falls as well, and John's like, well, "There you go, the wall defends itself," <laughs> and that pretty much kills all of them. Yeah. So that's the end of the fighting, and so John comes down from his tower and looks around. He's looking for a greet, and he finds her, and she has been shot through the chest, and. All he could be, you know, the only um, thing he can think is, oh, at least it's not my arrow. But he still feels guilty. Which, I mean, you should. And she's like, oh, is this the proper castle? Because she wanted to see a castle. (laughs) I can't. I hate this. Oh, my God. And he's like, oh, you'll see a bunch of castles. You're going to be fine. You won't die and she's like remember that cave we should have stayed in that cave Uh, and he's trying to comfort her be like we'll go back you're not going to die and then of course her last line is you know nothing Jon Snow she sighed dying I can't (laughs) what the fuck (laughs) I hate this series I feel like you're feeling it more now than you're. oh easily like when I first read it I was like okay whatever another death like am I shocked (sighs) I think those were my exact thoughts. And now I'm like, okay, but that's a great. <laughs> mm-hmm. We just died. Like, not coming back. Like, obviously they weren't gonna, like... Like, I don't see... It's tough to envision a world... A it's Westeros. not a rom-com. Exactly. Like, they weren't gonna, like, you know, get together and, like, live happily ever after. Mm-hmm. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we could have had. Like, but you were like they could have something. at least lived if separately. Yeah, they could. You know, like I don't know, but I don't know. It's really sad. Yeah. But like, but like also. You know what? Just because shocked? you've like felt so much heartbreak in the recent weeks, I'm gonna give you something. 
Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah. Wait. Give me one second. Yeah. It's not that intense. I just need to... Do con- you know... Emily, do you know what now I'm supposed to show me? I don't know what's happening. Okay. okay. So, Kit oh. Harrington, who I plays... I like being in the dark with someone. Oh. <laughs> Kit Harrington, yeah. who plays John. Uh-huh. And Rose Leslie, who plays a great, are actually married in real life. That's so cute. That's there you so go. There cute. is your happy ending. Good chemistry. That's so cute. Oh my god. You oh, went I'm into so those octaves and my <laughs> My Wait, ears just no. shut out when she gets really high pitched. Oh, I just don't hear something. Okay, wait. So, wait. Question. Brain is loading. So, like, did they meet on the show? Yeah, or they, they yes. already together. Yes, they met on nope, the show. They met. Yeah. And like, they didn't get divorced. Like, they're happy. No, still married. Yeah, and they have like two kids that's, or something. That's Do they so really? Cute. I know they have one kid for sure. I think I heard they have something about a second kid, but I may be wrong. And it was like the whole cast was invited, so like it had to be while they weren't filming to the wedding and stuff like that. It was a whole deal. <laughs> yeah. That's so, like, so sweet. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. Mm-hmm. That's so cute. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, so, you'll say, like you. So when you see them, you're like, "Oh yeah, I can. <laughs> this is real." <laughs> like, <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Yay. So that's something, yeah, right? Cute. Yay. Okay. Suddenly, I've forgotten that he died. Because <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like, well, fine. they live happily ever after in real life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. So that's do you, okay. Let's do some. Hmm. No, let's okay. do predictions at the end because these chapters kind of. I relate. had a couple thoughts. Sure, um, he, share those. Um. Okay, there was a moment where what's his face? Owen, normal mm-hmm. guy, as you've <laughs> dubbed him. Was, normal guy was like Lord Snow, and I was like, Yeah, yes. yeah, but they called John? him Lord Snow as like a mocking thing. They Is always that a joke? have. Okay. Oh yeah. No, but Owen, I feel like Owen meant it sure but like i just think it's like what john people call john on the wall and yeah but i think that this because he was taking uh, no he meant it (laughs) so you're like john is his lord no it was just nice to be like john is being respected in this moment it was just a nice moment for me as a john fan sure um Mm. and then okay there was a couple times where he he suddenly, out of nowhere, like, started, he'd be like, oh, um, the dance isn't happening here. The dance has moved on. <laughs> yeah. We have to go move with the dance. And I was like, Siri O'Farrell, where <laughs> is he? Like, you never met him. Like, what's happening? Um, but it was like a nice little, like, Arya's dead, but Serial lives on, you know? So it was like a nice little, like, I was really Does Serial Cereal. live on? Serial okay, literally no, died. legacy lives on. <laughs> Okay, because love, love Aria to pieces, but what is her legacy? Like, she killed a few people, like, showed us what the normal <laughs> people were like, you know? I'm sorry, like, love her to bits and pieces. However, her chapters were depressing, and there was just a lot of bad things happening to her at all times, you know? She was not okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She needed therapy. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. But Sirio, like, you know, did some things. So Sirio's legacy looks up. So it's like an homage, you think? Yes. I, I okay. like to take it that way. <laughs> All I'm, right. Okay, I like that. I'm an optimist. And these recent <laughs> chapters have really, like, wow. So my brain is, like, constantly, like, oh, maybe that's a good thing. Let's take it as a good thing. Even if I it's want, not. You know? I'm going to share so, another thing with you. But finish your thought. Okay. I'll wait. I have to find my other thoughts. Give me a second. <laughs> Were you about to say something, Emily? I was, but it's it's a little backtracking, but I had a question, because I remember how I was thinking at this time in the show, and I wanted to know what you were thinking in the show, okay. because Rob it, it's, breaks off with, with Frey, who he's supposed to marry, correct, and marries another woman. Mm-hmm. Yes. Correct. So... At any point, were you thinking, like, maybe that's a bad idea, Rob? (laughs) Or were you like, this is great. He's found love. I think, okay, we didn't really get to know Jane. And it's not like we knew her beforehand. Or, sorry, wait, let me explain. Like, we didn't know Jane beforehand. So I think at first I was like, like, I instantly was, I think, I might be remembering wrong. But to my recollection, I was like, 
what the fuck? Mm. Afraid. What are you like, doing? You know, what the yeah. fuck are you doing? And then, okay. but then I think there was a period of like, Oh, you know, like, I think even after he explained it, we didn't really know Jane because we only, we okay. really only saw Jane through Catelyn's eyes, who was like, wow, oh, her hips no. are good for childbirth. You know, like, like that <laughs> yeah, was literally what she what the said. Fuck? Exactly. Oh that's, that's God. like, every time she sees Oof. a young woman, she's like, that woman. Will Let me measure babies. her hips real quick. <laughs> no, what a horrible like, mother-in-law. That's like a thing that Catelyn told me every single time, you know? Um. Yeah, I'm sure that's exactly what she said. So that's really all we got of Jane. And there, okay. was the, there was the odd moment of... So I think because I didn't really have that connection to her, it was very easy to be like, the fuck, Rob? And then I okay. think for the longest time I was like... um, I was like, okay, like when they were trying to figure out a deal with Frey, I was thinking, mm. what fucking deal could be better than marrying the king? You know, like right. that's... I was like, no yeah. way. Um, yeah. And then, okay. So you were suspicious as well on on. I was okay. suspicious, okay. but then up until right before, like I was so suspicious up until like mm-hmm. the second last episode, and then the last one right before, I was like, things are gonna be happy. Uh, <laughs> she was oh, like, wow. everybody's gonna okay. reunite. It's gonna be great. I genuinely was like, Arya, mother, Arya, Catelyn. Yeah. Right yeah. Now. Oh, for sure. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then okay. I was okay. Very heartbroken when that did not happen. Also, oh, to no, your credit, it's devastating. Yeah. Harmouth, you never trusted that Roose Bolton guy. And I never from the second. But you never ex- was like, expected them to be like him and Frey to be in cahoots to like organize. I don't know the why you wedding. would though. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. yeah. No, but That's there's a, a lot of hints. There's so no, many hints. Was, oh, in no, the books? There yeah. Couple, there's not? There was a okay. couple of moments where I was like, why are there Frey's beer? But I just kind of was <laughs> like, nah, let's dismiss that. Like that I okay. think that was exactly how the thoughts went. It was like, why are there Frey's here? okay you know like there was this whole thing but then nav was like oh they're there they're getting going to the wedding together and i was like of course they are so, you know, <laughs> i had so, to say that so yes. you no. know there was, there was a bit of that and then freaking but i i never i never believed in Frey until right before for some reason and then mm. i fully was like lannisters are gonna pull some shit and i they did okay. pull some shit so, yes yay. they did yeah because i i because yeah. i was focusing on the relationships and i remember getting so mad at rob like this ain't no rom-com yeah. boy you are something yeah. is gonna happen to you, <laughs> yeah. you and can't so just, there was no but i feel armor. like that really it really turned after that of like okay any like seemingly good relationship you have to be really suspicious about so the marriages and the the even like the the just any relationship you're like okay like do i like this will it last will they die will someone and so it really like after that so then with the john and egret after that you're like oh man you know i was hoping maybe they'd last a couple chapters or something or reunite or you know like um but i i totally that the hope has yeah. to go from maybe they'll live happily ever after, after to maybe they'll last a chapter. Maybe they won't <laughs> well, I mean, die yeah, on well, their with, wedding night. With how many chapters are in this book? <laughs> you I hope. mean, yeah, you you're hope. like, maybe we'll get to the end <laughs> of one. <sighs> no, every once in a while, I'll be like, this bad thing's going to happen. Like, I'll be like, Sansa's going to die. And then Neville will be like, yeah. Neville will be like, right away. And I'll be like, no, at the end of book five. Like, that's, <laughs> that's become my, like, catch I do that, too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm like, this is this person's season to die. (laughs) Like um, It's almost like I'm procrastinating their death. I'm like, it can't happen now, so it has to happen in like three books. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Love this um, union between two folks who were spoiled. Two relatively unspoiled. I always, okay, especially now after Red Wedding, I feel like I'm an autumn child. (laughs) <laughs> not a sweet summer like- child Ooh. anymore that's what she means where do you feel okay. like you're on the scale of seasons? sweet summer child to total cynic well since <laughs> i am a little farther than you mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. in the trajectory of what is written what is filmed um i would say between like the changing of autumn to winter like Ooh. A lot of shit. Uh, <laughs> it's still a lot of shit to happen. Um, I, but I, I like your connection with the characters. It feels so much deeper than I think mine has been, um, because I I went into this very skeptical, 
And I think you came in it with open arms, like I'm going to read a book, <laughs> and you, and and you were genuinely less spoiled than I was. I did know about the red wedding. I didn't know <gasps> whose wedding it was. So like, I was waiting. What did you know to, about the red wedding? That I there was knew like it a was disastrous a wedding where wedding. a lot of people died. <laughs> So I was trying to figure out whose wedding it was, and there were so many weddings in Did that season. Did you predict which wedding the red wedding was? Only up and like maybe an episode before when it seemed like, but but okay. that season has so many potential weddings that I was very unsure. Right, because they keep having and breaking alliances. Exactly, <laughs> you know? exactly. There were like three or four. Uh-oh. It could have been, but no, okay. only until maybe the episode before. I was like, I don't know. Like it could be anyone. So interesting. Um. So so it was oh. nice to hear. Like as horrifying as it is, it was nice to hear that you got the experience that I didn't, where you didn't know. Um, <laughs> so what was your reaction to the red wedding? Uh. It's so hard because it's it's film versus yeah um, totally you know and like and it's and it's just one part of a whole episode and if I remember um, like correctly your husband had like specifically asked to record that episode with you so you had like a warning of like oh I this knew what episode it was exactly yeah. I was leading up to it and every, yeah so I knew exactly what episode it was um, so after, you like, really knew when it was. Mm-hmm. Oh my yeah, God. I knew what season, I knew what episode we were leading it up to. Um, so my reaction at the end was kind of just like, Rob, you done fucked up. <laughs> like, you know, and this sucks. And, you know, Kat was kind of wearing on my nerves anyway because she was a little <laughs> bitch to him. Um, That's so, so funny. But you had a, like, I feel like you had a better relationship with them as characters. Um, yeah. But it's also, it, it, it is different in yeah. the show, and I can't tell you why. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, was so. told, I was told via Nov that, like, it's more of you? a shock factor. No, rem- oh, remember, I- it, they focus more on the spectacle, the showrunners, oh, yeah. more than the, like, characters. It's, oh, it's yeah, like the yeah, entire no, show it's, is it's, all about spectacle. Yeah gore and and surprises and and whatnot and yeah the shock factor um yeah i i was because i knew i was like yep there it is like and you cool. can you can listen to you emily's know. reaction in a few years i thought you were about <laughs> to say you can listen to emily's reaction period no you cannot because there's spoilers no, there's crazy yeah spoilers. oh yeah it, it's different it's just it's yeah and Emily, by the end of season six, I'm really interested to hear your review of the last two seasons because they run out of like all material by the end of si- season six. Really? So, yeah. From okay. then on, it's just like oh, I know. I'm, anybody's I'm, yeah, game. We're getting into <laughs> we're into the wild west of Westeros uh, <laughs> towards the end. That's yeah, I'm... beautiful. <laughs> I love that. Oh uh, yeah, I'm I'm. Not looking forward to the longer episodes because this is where the seasons get shorter, but the episodes get longer. So it's like, am I yeah. gonna have like a a four hour breakdown of this uh, episode? I don't know. Um, you can have to honestly, yeah. you won't want to talk about them that much by that point. <laughs> <laughs> See, and then we have people like you that are like, man, this was shit. So I'm like, I'm really curious. Like, That's I'm really so curious because <laughs> there was so like I I existed in the world where people were mad, and I just was in my own non Game of Thrones bubble, and I was yeah. just like, man, people are really pissed. <laughs> oh, I wonder what's up. Whatever. Yeah. That's so interesting. Oh. And then I started my podcast probably six months after the finale to the whole show ended. Ooh. Yeah. I still, Ooh. I gotta say, I really want you to cover the Dragon House We're <laughs> the thinking about it. show. We're thinking about it. Yeah. It's Because we should be done in about it uh, be, next spring is uh, when Whoa. we should be finishing the show. You'll be done the entire show? Mm-hmm. Wait, there's eight seasons? Question mark. Mm-hmm. Yes, eight seasons. Okay. Yeah. Oh wow. Wait, when did you start the podcast? See, time doesn't make sense in my brain. No, you're fine. I started it in 2019. Um, I had to take some breaks because I was pregnant because I moved to Japan. So there were like some weird gaps in between. Okay. But now we're biweekly. We're we're going strong. Um, my yeah. sister's my co-host now. Oh. It was for the first three seasons. It was friends and family, podcasters. That's how I met Nov. 
Um, but now my sister's my co-host and we have guests when we want to and when they want to be on. Yeah. Um, so I finally, we finally gotten into a good groove. Um, so yeah, so, so now exciting. looking at the calendar from now, thank you. Um, yeah, like next spring is when we should be finishing. So oh gotta God. figure out something to do. Yeah, and I That's think scary next year it is. is also yeah. when the second season of Dragon House comes out. Joy. <laughs> so you'll like it's perfect timing. Right it's really it. falling it into place. It is, yeah, especially because my sister and I haven't watched uh, House of Dragons, <laughs> so it would be like. You're First both reaction actually, for both of us. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So uh, I, I think it might be fun to do. Yeah. Um, and as like yeah. a genuine fan of your podcast, I'm just so yeah. excited. Thanks. <laughs> like as when you switch to every two weeks, I was. For me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're being restricted from my content. <laughs> yeah. I am. I am well, hey, hey, blocked. you can listen to the first episode of the podcast, although I don't know if you should because it's probably very bad because you've seen that series, that episode. <laughs> well, I'm going to wait. I am oh, going wait. to, because you talk about the things you're spoiled on. Oh, and shit. some Do of I? those things oh. Harmit is not spoiled on. Dang so it. maybe, maybe okay. I'll just get a timestamp of like when you talk about it and tell okay. her not to listen to that part. Oh, that's hard though. You would do okay. that for me? Yeah, I'm. I would love to re-listen to that episode because it's been okay. so long. <laughs> we actually it's do so that. I want to listen. I want to listen. Okay, okay, Aww. we'll do that. I'll yeah. put it down in my notes somewhere. Okay. Aww. Um. Well, yes, what you were we trying to show about? us something, Nov. <laughs> yeah, I said we got. Thank you for. Really? Reminding. <laughs> I was just. I was That's gonna because okay. Harmeth was talking about her predictions and her optimism, and I wanted to point mm. out this conversation we we as in like people on the Discord had on. Oh yeah had yesterday and this is oh. so Thado says I'm listening to the new episode and Harmeth is almost spot on about blank <laughs> and um, what is blank I'm not telling you because you're almost spot, spot on about it <laughs> oh wait so for the wait wait so that's the most recent episode that, so that's the, the one that okay. came out okay yeah, I'm trying I'm trying to think what I could have been spot on about now anyway I haven't so, listened to it yet um Ayaya, I'm so sorry. I'm not sure how this name is pronounced, Wait, but it's I A I A. Yeah. Is, oh, okay. spoilers I'm not part chat. of it either. If that helps, because <laughs> Emily's oh, not yeah, spoiled either. You so don't be spoiled. I can't. I can't be spoiled. Yeah, because they know things in the books that I. Yeah. Oh, so. So neither wow. one of us is the spoilers <laughs> one. <laughs> I love that. This is. I love this. Okay. So to Yay. Thado, Ayaya replies, it actually happens a lot. She almost exactly predicts so much stuff, it's crazy. Like, I'm the kind of person who never gets predictions right, and I'm in the awe, in awe of people who do. And Mott says, but then her hopes get in the way of her actually getting it. I kind of feel bad for her. That's so says, true. I believe that, yeah. She has an unhealthy amount of delusion. I respect it. <laughs> 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 That that said that? No, that was Ayaya. Oh, oh okay. Like, mean, it, it was just so really funny. funny. Wait, Kate, that's no, true. because I was also, I think while you guys were having this conversation, I was having this thought in my head, like that exact thing <laughs> you just said, which is so weird. Because you said this was yesterday? Yeah. Okay, literally yesterday in my head, I was like, you know, like, because like, I was, we went to my friend's cabin last weekend and we were watching like a, one of those movies that you watched in your childhood that felt good when it was in your childhood, but then you go Ooh. back to it later and you're like, wow, that was a what movie was I it? enjoyed. Now I need to it know. It was like Sky High or something. Oh yeah, oh. that was a funny movie. The Disney movie. Yeah. 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 Was, okay. Was, like, I kind of remember thing. it. And I didn't like have super a childhood. Heroes. Like I didn't like, I didn't have a childhood, so I hadn't watched it. Like this is always, okay. I go with my friends, they're like, watch this, you know? And That's I'm our entire it. relationship. Exactly. I'm watching it from oh. the perspective of an adult. So I was like, oh. hmm, interesting. But I like predicted everything within the first two minutes. But I didn't it's... predict it within per by predicting it. I predicted it as like, oh, wouldn't it be so weird if this happened? But that wouldn't happen, right? Because blah, 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 blah. And then I saw everyone looking because at each other. Because logic. And I, was like, did I just, and I was like, did I just predict everything? And no one could make eye contact with me. And then I was oh like. Oh my God. <laughs> so. That's funny. But the way that translates to A Song of Ice and Fire is always me being like, no, but like that's, like Mott said, my hopes get in the way. Because then I'm like, no way they all die. Clearly this right. means something else. You're like, they wouldn't be that cruel. Yeah. yeah. And then like, I think I said something once where I was like, I'm really good at predicting things 
60% of the time. And I think mm. that's what I was trying to say is like, I predict it, but then I stop myself because I'm like, mm. no. You know? I don't remember what it was. But anyway, yeah, my hopes get in the way. <laughs> so I don't know if I should stop being hopeful and just get really good at predicting. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that we like you as you like are. A good thing. I don't know. Hope anyway. Anyway, that's really funny because I think we were having parallel thoughts. Yeah. Ooh. All right. So do we want to talk about the next chapter? <laughs> we can. I mean, sure. <laughs> we could. Yeah, we read oh, it. Uh, whatever. Wait, one second. Let me just make sure. Because then we got very destructive. <laughs> oh, that's okay. so that, thoughts or not? Yeah. I think I had a couple of things left. So, Kate. So the villagers <laughs> from Mole's Town. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Quick little side thing. When he called them the mole moles, people. Yeah. the mole people, I was like, I, why? I, what? Yeah. Like, I was like, what are we doing? Anyway, that was a little like jarring, but moving on. Um, so the people from the village. So did we just not? Okay. So they didn't know the plan. Was that mm-hmm. just like a, so they don't run away before anything even happens? They were too yeah, late it there, was like a I mean? like, need to know basis question mark. I guess, yeah, I feel like they could have filled them little, in. Like. It felt a little like we're gonna draw you in with hope, with hope of like you'll be safe here, but like we're not gonna tell you this. You know, it, it felt a little rude. I agree you with know? you. So yeah, hopefully they, cause like the only way place to flee was up the wall hopefully they made it far, far enough up that they were spared i hope so but, but we don't get like any it. details on it especially because yeah, no, they were talking about how war. the villagers were specifically posted on the third post and mm-hmm. everything below like the ninth post or whatever was gone so they wouldn't have like it, it just seems really mm-hmm. unlikely but i don't know mm. really sad but that that felt a little um backhanded i was like yeah excuse me but yeah um i think that's all the thoughts I had. Good thoughts. Thank you. So, now on to Bran's thoughts. Um, <laughs> mm. That was a so good segue. They are approaching, or they have arrived at the Night Fort, which <gasps> used to be the main castle on the wall up until 200 years ago when good Queen Alisan, like gave them money to build a new castle. And... They abandoned this one because it was too much to maintain and blah, blah, blah. All those things. So he's, as they're walking up, he's thinking about the dream he had. And he he does not want to be thinking about this dream. Now, Emily, this is not a thing in the show because, like, they really don't do any of the magic or any of the dreams or any of anything. (gasps) Really? (laughs) Yeah. So this is not a fantasy really gets the short end of the stick. Well... They, hmm. It can be very low magic sometimes, and you're like, is this they really fantasy hesitate. or is just just medieval times? Um, it's all the so... cool stuff that they take out, and that's why nobody likes Bran in the show, because like, all the cool oh. magic things aren't happening. Or they're not explained, I've been fu- yes. like, as well. like <laughs> They're just like hand-wavy of like, this happens, or he can do that, and you're like... What? <laughs> can someone explain <laughs> what this is or why? And they're like, no, he can do Okay, I guess I'll go with that. So what do you sure. do in those moments? Do you, like, look it up, or are you like, I'll figure oh, it no. out eventually? No, I Emily does not nothing. look up anything. <laughs> no, funny. I'm either, I wonder and say it out to, to space in the podcast <laughs> universe, or I make my sister look it up if I really want to know. Um, yeah, or her, Kate just tells we, Emily that it, there's no explanation. It just is. <laughs> Or she uses the term loosely expert because she's seen it once. Um, so sometimes she'll look it up or sometimes she's just oh like, I don't know. Um, yeah. That's funny. So I'm like, well, eventually, cause, yeah, I Google nothing. Like I can't. That's cool. Because even to get, this is, sorry, a tangent. Uh, even to get no, like the thumbnails for tangents. our our Instagram um, like post, our, our episode post, I take a, like a screenshot from the episode. If you go too far down, you see shit that was not in that episode. Mm. So I'm like, so even Google image for Game of Thrones season one, episode one, the title of the episode images can still show you shit that's not yeah. from that episode. Mm-hmm. So You should get Kate that. to look those up. The images? But the, I like picking them. The like, I fair. Like, <laughs> fair. Um, and she... Because I know, find the images... She's my freeloading for... co-host. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I do all the work. That's so funny. <gasps> she knows uh, it. <laughs> which is, since you don't look some things up, which is great, but that's why sometimes I'll go into her DMs and send her a whole yep. long paragraph yep. about the seven oh, yeah. and gods Nubs, and why. That's, <laughs> mm-hmm. that's beautiful. It is. That's I know it's beautiful. really annoying, but I'm so sorry. No, no my gosh, no. it's not. We both love it. You, Everybody we've ta- needs You know we Nubs talk notes. about you on the show. Yes. Uh-huh. Everybody, oh, I'm glad that this joy is being spread to other people. Like this is oh, absolutely no, <laughs> yeah, because like, and then I liked because it started out with corrections because we were talking about something wrong. No, because you were like, you were like this person, Rhaegar yeah, the we king, dumb. and I had to be like, no, yeah. Rhaegar was the crown prince. It was kind of yeah, we were dumb. <laughs> Please, yep. whoops. No, it's but it's because they them. never talk about it in the show. And in they never the book, show them. it don't, comes up every not... time. Harmuth, how many times right. have you heard about the tourney at Heron Hall? Do you even know what that is, Emily? <laughs> I've heard of it once. You see? You're joking. See? You're no. joking. I think I know what I'm talking. I think I know what you're talking about. But I think it was this season that it was the talked about. Tr- <gasps> season six? Yeah, that's Holy, what I'm saying. That was like within the first ten chapters. They were like, "Ah, oh, Liana died. Turny." You know, like, I'm pretty yeah, sure that's how no, they don't. Yeah. So. Anyway, yeah, they go into way more detail, which is why it's easier to retain all this random information, right. but mm-hmm. blah, blah, blah. So I have okay. no excuse <laughs> for not knowing anything? Well, it'll be a lot easier for you to watch because you'll know all the background without mm-hmm. needing to. So you'll be that's like, well, I, yeah, of course totally, this stuff. Yeah. yeah. That's totally how I felt with the first episode, too, where I was like, I loved that. But if I'd gone into mm-hmm. it not knowing anything, I would have been like, who the fuck is that? Why is that? Who, what? Who, what? Random ass kids. Peter yeah. Dinklage. What a, you know, yeah. Joe Joe Jonas's wife is there. Um, <laughs> you know. Joe Jonas is, I thought she was a lot older than she is. I was so confused when she showed up as showed up as Sansa and she was like a child. So young. They're young when they mm-hmm. start. Like half of these boys go through puberty through this show. You feel Aww. bad for them. Yeah. They're like, my father died. By the time Hodor is like carrying Bran seasons, like, to the night fort, grew. Bran is like six feet tall. Oh yeah, <laughs> Hodor yes, cannot car- carry that guy anymore. He went, th- yeah, yeah. He went through some changes, and you're like, oh, poor kid. Oh, uh, okay, all right. Wait, we okay. So Bran, where we started, Bran is having this dream. So th- okay, there's the dreams are like a consistent theme throughout the oh yes the the series and. Mm-hmm all the dire wolves kind of connect to each other and like the kids all see these dreams of themselves as dire wolves and then also with all the other dire wolves that are currently alive and just hanging out and that kind of stuff oh yeah it's really cool yeah bran had a whole conversation where he woke like he opened john's third eye through a dream yeah yeah (laughs) they can talk to each other kind of yeah it doesn't have god it's it's really cool. So he ha- okay. he's clearly had a dream where he has realized that Rob and yeah. Grey Wind are dead. Yes. And I he think, does not yeah. want to, like, acknowledge that because it's it sucks. It sucks real okay. bad. Yeah. Pause button. Mm-hmm. This is where I'm going to have to acknowledge that Grey Wind is actually yeah. dead because I refused to believe it. Even oh, in- right. You thought he escaped. Yeah, first mm-hmm. I thought that he escaped, and then in the episode, okay. and then in, like, the, um, the episode, whose chapters were those? Most recent episode, Davos's chapter, which, yeah. Yeah, but the listeners are going to be confused, because it was not, well, the most recent chapter episode, there we go. In the most recent chapter episode, um, freaking, yeah, in, like, Davos's, they were thinking about it, and they were like, oh, I, like, the, Rob's head, or. They sewed Grey, Grey Wind's, Wind's head, head onto Thank Rob's you. body. And Harmuth yeah. was like, nope, that didn't happen. I I'm was not like, believing I was like, this <laughs> oh. is false. This is Melisandre reading the flames wrong. Because there was a lot oh, of talk okay. in that episode about that. And I was like, Grey Wind is out. Like, no way we had another. De- like, I was like, I just refuse to believe it. But this is like okay. confirmation, okay. confirmation, confirmation. So moment of silence for Grey Wind. <laughs> like, what? come on. Like, we couldn't have. Because. Once again, the optimism got in the way. I was like, no way he also kills Grey Wind, right? Another dire wolf down. <sighs> why do we Well, didn't you guys also say this? you thought if Grey Wind was in there, 
Rob would have gotten out, like he would have been fine. If he wasn't in the kennel, you thought he would have helped out or something. At right. The wedding. Yeah. Like if if Grey Wind were free and not trapped right. in the kennel. So that's that's yeah. the point. You got to keep them separated. Mm-hmm. I know. I just wanted to wish. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, yeah. So sad. there's the hopes Grey and Wind optimism. Yeah, there it is. Grey Wind is dead, and I hate it. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. <sighs> uh. Yeah. So as they're going through the the fort the castle forgot the word for castle for a second um brand's just remembering all the stories that he's heard of it from old nan and it's a real like haunted kind of vibe that this place has even if it may not be really haunted it really feels like it and brad doesn't want to tell them about his dream because he doesn't want to believe it obviously and they've come to the night port specifically because Jojen had a green dream that told him that there was a gate here. Um, <laughs> Emily, you're giving this face. Does Jojen not have green dreams in the show? I don't know what a green dream. That was new to me. Oh, oh, it's it's just like it wasn't described dreams, as like a kind of. Yeah, I mean, I assumed it was like because he was very prophetic, or mm-hmm. he is he is very prophetic in the show, and it's like. But they they didn't get that detailed, of course. And so, like, whatever he said was law of, you Mm -hmm. know, and you're like, okay, well, he knows what he's talking about. But they were not that specific of, like, I, yeah, I didn't know the term. Yeah. So, he, yeah, it's, like, his general, like, (laughs) all-knowingness. Yeah. And he dreams it. Um, So, they're here now. And Bran's thinking back to when the last time we saw him, which was they were trapped in a tower while they saw John run away and Bran worked into summer to try to help John run away. And summer in that whole thing got hurt and he's still like limping along, but he's getting better. So that's good. Um, because if he had also died, that would have just been too much. <laughs> not that, not that there. everything else that has already happened. Hasn't been too much, no. but, um, oh but they got there. The free folk ended up moving on and they stayed put for a little while and then eventually followed, just making sure that they weren't caught. So that's all that. Uh, at the castle, Mira is like, okay, I'm going to go climb up the wall since there's no gate here. Maybe there's a way to get out, get down from the other side of the wall. We'll check it out. So she's going climbing and Ban's like, oh my God, that should be me because climbing is, is his whole thing or my used thing. to be his whole thing. <laughs> And even though he can't do it anymore, it still kind of brings a smile to his face, which is a little nice. Although he does refer to himself as broken this chapter, which is not a thing I like. I just want somebody to, like, bust into his thoughts and be like, put a stop to that. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Blame the writer, not Bran. <laughs> I, I do bra- blame the writer, yeah. Uh, and I... He, you know what sucks? I think it was Tyrion who said it first when he, <gasps> Tyrion. like, way back in book one. Which How dare. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Mm. So the steps that she's climbing are built, like, cut out from the ice of the wall itself. And they're really treacherous. And just, like, reading about her climbing up the steps made me scared. I was like, oh, my God, those... I have fallen down too many steps. I'm way too clumsy. I fall down steps all the time. You're not a climber. No, not at all. So <laughs> hearing her do this was uh, was scary. And while she's doing that, they're like, oh, let's go look around. What's going on? And they come across a rat. And Bran's like, wait, is that the rat cook? And then he's like, no, it's the wrong color and only as big as a cat. Excuse me? What the fuck? Only what as big eating? as a cat. <sighs> yeah, like, like what are they what surviving is... on? It's been de- like centuries since anybody has lived here. <laughs> All the other rats. Maybe it's the one true, <laughs> it's the one true rat king. Anyway, the Please. rat cook is supposed to be white and almost as huge as a sow. Which that's 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 what a big rat, that? like a pig. A cow. No, oh, okay. what? Right, you're right. Isn't it? Nope, you're right. Am nope, I? you're right. You're right. You're right. Nope. Okay. <laughs> you're right. 
I yeah, I was so confused. I don't know animal terms, so I was like, terms, I, don't know so I, was, I could totally know. No, you're wrong. totally right, Nub. So sorry. <laughs> yeah, oh so a rat as big as a pig. That sounds like the most nightmarish thing ever. Yes. That is um, not it. Then we hear more about the castle and all of that. And we get into one of the stories, which is of the 79 deserters who deserted and went south, but then they stayed over at Lord Risewell's castle, but the Lord was, you know, honor bound. So he sent them back to the wall and the Lord commander had them iced into the wall while they were alive. Wow. Yeah. And they have spears and horn and they and horns and they all face north. So they do the duty that they didn't do in life. Now they do it inter- eternally. Oh my god. <laughs> but the nice part about this story is that Lord Risewell, when he got old, he was like, I'm gonna go up to the wall and join my son, and he had himself entombed into the wall so he could be one of the Yay. sentries. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I remember you and I had a conversation. How like, right? Right? <laughs> you and I had a conversation a while ago where, like, because I, I, like, always was like, oh, my God, Ned, you're too good for this world. Like, that was, you know, love, Ned, you know, whatever. Yeah. Um, And, like, we had a conversation once about how, like, Ned being Ned, yes, like, he was a Stark, whatever, but it came more from, like, John Aaron raising him rather than like the Stark in him. Mm-hmm. And I don't know. This was just. That was a really long time ago. That was like book one conversation. <laughs> I don't know. Bro, random things stick up here and most things don't. So that's stuck, okay? Yeah, because um, the whole honor thing, because the Aaron's um, motto or house words is like as high as honor. And the Starks, right. like he was really raised by John Winter's Aaron. Coming. Much, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so okay what about that um like i was just thinking about that and, it, and i was like this feels like this feels like a very ned thing than a stark thing and i was like but this isn't ned so i was just like i don't know it was just like in the my head was, part of it yeah right. like it, it was just very yeah but it was like, like i wouldn't i wouldn't do what my men what i wouldn't do to myself or something like that yeah and like all of that but His he waited until he like, was about to die. Yeah, but it wasn't a Stark. It was a Risewell. What's a Risewell? Who are That's they? their last name. Like, no, but who are they? They're a, they're like a ho- house in the north, but like oh. southern north. <laughs> Tell me in why the my brain lands. went. Tell me why my brain was like, this is a Stark. I have no excuse. But for some reason, this was a Stark in my mind. Well, because there's another story where Bran was like, they were a Stark. It was. Oh, it yeah. Was the that's oh, the yeah. Night's oh, King. Right. We're going to get yeah. to that. Sorry. Um, the so as so they're good. going around I this castle. Them. Summer seems to be hearing things that Brad can't hear, and he's baring his teeth at what seems to be nothing. And uh, if any, I feel like if anybody can sense ghosts, it's going to be Summer. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah. Um, okay, so Mira returns from up on the wall, and she's like, I saw the forest and these hills and stuff, and I saw an eagle circling, and I think he saw me too, and I waved at him. Now, Harmouth, the wildlings have an eagle that somebody has worked into. <laughs> that's mm-hmm. that's concerning. Um, I like that. And uh, but there's no way down the wall, so they're just gonna have to huddle down and figure out something later. And Jojen's like, maybe I'll have another dream. So as like it starts getting dark, that's when we hear the tale of the Night's King because it's mm-hmm. the Night's King's territory or like he rules the night that kind of thing Mm -hmm. so he had been the 13th man to lead the night's watch and a man who know no fear and that was his fault because he should have known fear instead he ended up (laughs) marrying a zombie or a white walker i can't i'm not sure but uh a woman who well, her he, skin was he cold. He loved as... her first and then married her. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my. He gave... Oh, God, I hate this word. But Don't he gave... say it. I won't say it. Don't say it. <laughs> we all know what... I can't. Yeah, move on. We know what move he did. 
<laughs> but cat. So he marries this zombie and or white walker something and yeah. proclaims her his queen and himself the king and then he makes everybody at the night's watch like be his subjects and then they reign yeah. for 13 years they go unchecked for 13 years <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck um, till finally the stark of winterfell and jorman of the free folk join together to take him down Same. and when they found out that he was sacrificing to the others, as a certain craster might be doing, <gasps> all records of the Night's King had been destroyed, his very name forbidden. So, oh my God. old Nan, to add intrigue, is like, well, some say he was a Bolton, some say he was a Magnar, mm -hmm. or blah, blah, blah. But really, I think he was a Stark. In <gasps> fact, a brother of the very man who brought him down. And who knows? <gasps> mayhaps his name was Brandon. <laughs> so rude. Oh my god. <laughs> Maybe he slept in your but room. <laughs> like every other Stark is named Brandon, though. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. it, it's, oh, for it's real? totally likely. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. oh yeah. Like mm -hmm. um uh Ned's elder brother who died during the war was named Brandon. Oh. Yeah. And th there's there like a Brandon Stark in every generation. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Dating all the way so back weird. to Bran the Builder. Wow. Who they built really had the wall. To honor Bran the Builder. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. This uh, whole creepy thing. And. So weird. I but know. I didn't. I mean, again, like the whole. This is you got to blame it on the writer. Fear wasn't his downfall. A woman was. Oh We're yeah, that the I hated the corpse too. woman. She's the worst. She's, he found her and then had sex with her because he couldn't resist her. And you're just like, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. Like, come on, my guy. You know, it. It just, just don't. I don't know. It's it's such a cop out. It's so, so lazy. It's lazy writing. You know. Yeah. Like, what's man's downfall? A woman. What else yeah. would it be? Mm -hmm. You know? Man's perfect without a woman there to fuck him up. <sighs> yeah. This is me reading the book. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's me taking in all the things that we've just got grown numb to because we've been reading yeah, these no, books for so long. Thing. For no, real. I can feel our thoughts aligning. <laughs> Cause it's like oh, no. it's like I don't think either of us like we both definitely just because I cringed that. when I read it, but I totally yeah. like forgot it I as I was it. talking about it right yeah. now. Yeah. Okay. No, I don't even like. It's so concerning how I don't even I don't even notice it anymore. Because the entire you know first book, I think I was like, "Oh my god, he said that." Oh my yeah. god, what do you? And like, it was, I was, I was like, you can't say that about women. And now I'm just like, okay, well, he's saying that about women, you know? Like, <laughs> no, and I hate that, right. but that's where I'm at. No, you're totally right, though, because I was for the first season of the show, I was screaming about the underdevelopment of the female characters yeah. in the books, and now it's like. You know, someone, I had a guest point out to me, well, isn't that so lazy to have this? You know, this is what the women are doing. And I was like, oh, I actually enjoyed this because we were getting this. But no, I should think more critically, like, yeah, why is this all we're getting for this one character? Why is this scene happening or something? And I was like, yeah. shit. But you're mm -hmm. so like, used to I nothing. got fooled. I, yes. <laughs> I was so mad. Yeah. That's so, funny. no, I, I'm totally there. <sighs> yeah. Do better, George R. R. Martin. Maybe this is why he doesn't write anymore, because he's like, I can't do better, so I'm just not going to do. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Um, anyway, so they huddle down in the kitchen, because it's the only place that's got, like, a mostly a roof still remaining. <laughs> and there's a skinny little weirwood in there, and it's got no face, because nobody's drawn it, carved it in yet. But he still, like, feels better because it's, like, the old gods are with him, which I liked that little, I don't know, mm -hmm. I just like it when they think that. Mm -hmm. and, and then he's looking around the kitchen and he's like, oh, that's where the Rat King chopped the prince to pieces. Yeah. <laughs> and, oh, my God, Brandon. And baked him into a pie in one of those ovens. <laughs> Brandon, go to sleep. Take a sleep pill and do it. 
Well, he's this is trying. When you're like, oh yeah, he's a child. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. No, this yeah. is just me projecting because this was me as a child. So I'm just kind of like, get over it, you know? <laughs> yeah, in like a cruel way. <laughs> You're almost a man grown. We don't have time for this shit. <laughs> exactly, because that was me to myself all of childhood. It's fine. It's fine. We'll have it's this fine. conversation Let's move later. on. Let's move on. <laughs> so, I, didn't, I didn't mean to dwell on that. That was So they have like honest. a little supper and then they go like they try to go to sleep and most everybody falls asleep except Oh no. Before they have a supper, well. they look at the well, and it's this yeah, Hodor huge, looks in it. like, endless well, and Hodor, like, shouts his name down, and it just, like, keeps going and ringing and ringing and ringing, and they drop drops. something drops into something it, down there. and they far, far below, they heard the sound as a stone found water. It wasn't a splash, not truly. Yeah. It was more a gulp, as if whatever yeah. was below had opened a quivering... Gelid, I don't know what Gelid means, but Gelid mouse to swallow Hodor's stone. But so now we know there's a legit mouse down there, so it is totally possible that this happened. Absolutely mm-hmm. not. <laughs> Absolutely not. This is um, a well. We sure. are, we are, like, this is winter. And this is a well. Yeah. I just don't like it. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> I just don't like it. This isn't me critiquing. This is just me not liking it. <laughs> oh, okay. As they're cooking dinner, we get the story of the rat cook who cooked the son of the Andal king in a big pie and fed it to the king who praised the taste and had a second slice. Thanks for that, George R. R. Martin. <laughs> Afterwards, the gods transformed the cook into a monstrous white rat who could only eat his own young. He had roamed the night fort ever since, devouring his children, but still his hunger was not sated. Ah. (laughs) And old Nan told Bran that it was not for the murderer that the gods cursed him, not even for serving the Andal King his own son in a pie. A man has a right to vengeance, but he slew a guest beneath his roof and the gods cannot forgive that well that's music to my ears <laughs> i love that yes love i'm that okay with us. that you, yeah. do you think it'll, i want vengeance man oh do you think frey's gonna be a really big old Frey's rat he um, already is a big old rat exactly <laughs> exactly <laughs> now so then what's just... the vengeance like what's the vengeance of the gods bit He's going to die a terrible, painful death. And every single one of his children is going to come up to him, which will take hours and hours, by the way. (laughs) And every single one of them and every single descendant is going to be, like, pointing out a different flaw in him. Nobody's going to... sucks and no one, like, fucking... And then the last one, like, the the infant is going to come up and, like, the mother's going to have to carry the infant over and is going to stab him. So no one's going to feed him his own son in a pie, but... (laughs) Yeah, let's not let's not continue the violence legacy. <laughs> let's stop. No, it. instead we'll have a baby stabbing. The <laughs> infant will do the violence. It's, it's okay. It's different. It's different because the infant won't remember. So the infant it doesn't have to. You know, it's fine. And the infant is so. So in- the infant is the oh, literal wait, no, Deus Ex Machina, and it's the hand of the gods <laughs> through the child killing. Old Walder Frey. But at exactly. this point, is death even a punishment for him, though? Because he's so yeah, he's old so anyway. Old. You know, fine. Let's strip all his castles. Sh- strip all. Let- let's say, like, maybe Tywin is like, you know, actually, I don't want to reward you at all. And he just is like, let me give this to the Lannisters instead. So the Lannisters Ooh. take over the twin. Like, you know what I mean? He, like, does a whole thing. So maybe he just takes mm-hmm. everything away. Because maybe, maybe Frey, like, I don't know didn't take his shoes off stepping into the great hall and now Cersei got mad and Tywin was like okay let's not continue you know like I don't know let's okay so so he gets (laughs) everything stripped for some petty reason okay got it all right yeah all right because the fray is already my justification for that terrible prediction is because fray already has way too much 
So it's like mm. giving him what he wants now, like it would just make him too powerful. And we know him and his heirs would try and fucking challenge the Lannisters as best as they could. Because they're just greedy like that. So it's mm-hmm. like a knock him down. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay. So back to this, they finally try to sleep. Most of them do fall asleep, exp- except Bran cannot. And he keeps hearing this like, sound coming up the well and he's trying to make it like that's just leaves scuffling that's just me imagining it it's not real it's fine until eventually it like very clearly becomes footsteps and then he's like what if it's the mad axe who was apparently a serial killer who killed all of his brothers of the night's watch or maybe it was the thing that came in the night Apparently, a bunch of boys saw it, and when they described it later, they all had a different description, and then they all ended up dying within a year. And a (laughs) hundred years later, when the thing had come again, the boys were seen shambling along behind it, all in chains. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) so I think that's the last of the creepy stories. I think so, yeah. Um. But yeah, so finally, it's definitely footsteps. So he's like, I got to do something. So he kind of like crawls over to Mira and wakes her up. And she's immediately on it. She's like ready to go. And as she's preparing to fight whatever's coming out, he's like, I got to do something too. And the thing he decides to do is worgen to Hodor. who summer's not there. Well, Summer is there. Well, oh, I thought they said... oh, is Summer, Summer like, eventually, like, comes out of the shadows somewhere. Oh, well, I don't know why he couldn't... But then he said, like, Summer's too far away or something. Yeah, he said Summer Did was he? far away. So maybe Summer, like, ev- like comes around think, by the time yeah, at the end? Okay, she, I guess I misread she just that. show up, yeah. Yeah, so... Um, yeah. Yeah, he slips into Hodor... Hodor clearly does not like it and is trying to push him out and Bran's forcing it and it's real, real, real bad and not consensual and horrible and I do not like it and I don't like that Bran thinks that this is an option that he can have whenever he's in trouble because it's not. Hodor is a person. It's not cool. Mm -hmm. Thoughts, Harmouth, yeah. <laughs> Emily? Yeah, it was a little... Not a little. It was pretty fucked up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. I don't really know Honestly, what else to the add. description, the description makes it worse than just seeing it... Um, yeah. Seeing it visually, because you don't know the push and pull that's there. Mm-hmm. You can't tell the turmoil that's in either one of their minds at the time. Because you think that you can't show that. Yeah. So this made it so much worse on a rewatch of like, oh, oh no. I mean, and, and I was never like, and the, and the fact that he, he can, can in air quotes, warg into Hodor just brings up so many other like, you make him less than human. It makes you feel like, oh, well, since he can work into him, is he, he's not human in Bran's eyes and he's not human in the writer's eyes. And it's just very, it's, it's all questionable, but Bran thinks this is the right answer. And I'm like, I, is it my guy? Like, yeah. Yeah. So we got to keep our eye on that. Um, mm. That's a development with Bran we're not fans of. Um, Because he's never done that before. uh, He He did did it it one time, but it was by accident. Oh, okay. They were in the tower where the wildlings were outside, and it was, like, thunderstorming, and Hodor was freaking out. And Bran just, like, tries to quiet him, and in doing that, he accidentally... And he just did it. Yeah. Okay, so this is... So now he's like, I'm gonna do this. Yeah, exactly. That was an accident. This is him choosing to do it. That was an accident. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Okay. Yeah, Yeah. so he, like, as Hodor, he grabs a sword and, like, kind of goes to fight whatever's coming up. But as he sees a black shape kind of, like, heave itself up the well, 
he gets so freaked out that he gets thrown out of Hodor and back into his own body. And Hodor's, of course, freaking out because a whole yeah. lot of crazy just happened. And yeah. um, Mira's got her net around the thing that's come out and the thing's saying, yep. please don't, please don't. <laughs> now, <laughs> Emily, you know what this was. So, Harmuth, when did you figure out that this was what, the, what was going on here? When he said, I'm Sam, I was like, the fuck? (laughs) What did you think it was until then? I did, okay, just because the chapter was so, like, Bran, like, you know, can't fall asleep, he didn't want to be here in the first place, you know, right from the beginning of the chapter, he was like, can we not be here? Can we go somewhere else? I think I was, I was like, okay, this is a setup, but I just figured it wouldn't be something actually dangerous, you know? So I was like, I was just, but I couldn't figure out what What the non-dangerous thing thing it could be. I was like, I was like, is it just going to be like a cat? You know what I mean? Like, like just something like, (laughs) something like that. Like, I just thought it would be like, I thought that it would be something where it's like, oh, this isn't actually something to be afraid of. But I I had no idea that it would be Sam because, Mm -hmm. you know, the last chapter we had was when um, the, like the. The, cold hands. Name? Cold hand. They and call his him crows. cold hands. We don't know cold who he is or what his and name his is. And his crows were helping them, and then they he they, he was like, "Get on!" And they got on, and that was the end of that. You know. Oh. So like we had no context, and I fully was like, "Wow, no, I like I didn't think they would get out of that." You know. So I Sam was not on my radar at all, like at all. So I was like, I don't know, like is it um. Like yeah, I don't know. I was just like, th- this will be harmless, but I don't know what. So then I just so it was read a good surprise when it was it. like, I'm Sam. Yeah, I was like, what did I write? I was like, yo, crossover episode. That <laughs> yeah. was my notes. I enjoyed it. It's because we get very few scenes. I think in book one we had a lot of them because people were actually together and happy. But <laughs> but we barely get any scenes anymore where multiple people in the scene we've been in the POV of. Mm -hmm. so this was like a nice like wow like this hasn't happened in a while you know yeah Mm -hmm. well so it's sam oh wait Tyrion and sansa are literally married and i'm saying yeah well that happens a lot but it's (laughs) i forgot about that yeah (laughs) but they've kind of always been there so it's not like they got reunited it's right right yeah you know and they don't Um, count because they kind of hate each other (laughs) Um. S- oh God! Sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm just trying not to say things. Sam's in a it's net. It's hard. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. So Sam gets caught in you. the net and he's freaking out. And Gilly steps up and like some of the sounds that Bran had been hearing was the baby crying. Baby. And <laughs> yeah. Baby. Um. And they figure out finally. Oh, he's a brother from the Night's Watch. Let's calm down. And Sam introduces himself, and Gilly introduces herself, and they're like, Jojen immediately is like, "Where did y'all come from?" <laughs> Very and, suspicious. Yeah, and Gilly's answer is, "Oh, are you the one?" Yeah, because this cold hands has told them that there's someone else that he was sent to find. And mm-hmm. he knew that there would be people in the castle. Um, <gasps> <laughs> exactly. Thank you for the guess. Freaky. <laughs> um, and if Sam tells them there's a gate and like cold hands has all these like ravens and an elk. And immediately they're like, whoa, ravens, crows, three eyed crow, <gasps> like things are like kind of coming together. Mm-hmm. These are connected, and there's a gate. We can get through it. This is the gate that clearly Jojen saw in his dream. And it's called mm-hmm. the Black Gate because it only lets the brothers, the Black Brothers of the Night's Watch through, whatever. Yeah. All of that stuff. Mm-hmm. And um, they're talking about cold hands, and Gilly explains, like, we only call him that because he has hands as cold as ice, but he saved us. And we thought he was a white at first, but he doesn't have blue eyes. And he but, can talk. And he can talk, exactly. <laughs> so it's not exactly... We're not right. sure what he is. Mm-hmm. Um, but Bran's like, well, the green men used to write on Alex. Maybe he's one of them. But 
like he's not green. I don't know if green men means like he was literally green or if they like. Yeah, that was confusing. Yeah. So there was like all this whole like talk about like mythological things. It was like a comedy of errors because they were like, is it green? The elf? No, the man. (laughs) That was beautiful. No, it was giving sitcom and it was nice. It was a little bit. Just like all this confusion. And the cold hands, that's not his real name. That's what we were just like, what is going on? Yeah. Yeah. And is Amira who's like, well, why didn't he come through with you? If they could come, so should he. And apparently he can't come through because the wall is more than just ice and stone. There are spells woven into it, old and strong. He cannot pass beyond the wall. So this is our first confirmation of, like, those spells be real. Because we've been hearing about them. This is a fantasy series, you guys. (laughs) Every time we're reminded of that. Because it takes, like, 20 chapters to come back to it, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they're like, okay, so I guess we're going then. Uh, oh, but, but, and Hodor can carry me. And when Bran says Hodor, like immediately, Sam kind of like puts it together because he's apparently, like, he's probably heard John talk about Hodor and he knows that Bran was hurt mm-hmm. and he knows that this is Bran. And everybody's like, no, please don't tell. George is like, he died. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then that Bran's boy like, is don't dead. Tell. And Sam, yeah. Sam's like, okay, I guess we'll keep it a secret. Yeah, and like, we're um, chill. Yeah, and then they're talking about John and how um, Sam thinks that John's probably dead because he never came back from the fo- Frost Fangs. But then Bran has news that jo- John's here. Seth the I Wall. I love this good news. This is beautiful. <laughs> and, then, and then, like, Summer saw him. And then there's this moment of, once again, like, Sam thinking that Mira is Sam. And then they have to be like, oh, no, it's that shadow. Oh, and it's a dire wolf. No, that's Summer. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh finally, it's all cleared up. They're and not going to... Summer likes Sam, so that's okay. Yes, exactly. Mm-hmm. That's like the seal of approval. Mm-hmm. Um, it's finally decided they're all going to go, except Gilly, who's going to wait in the kitchen with the baby until Sam comes back, and then they're going to go off to Castle okay. Black, Someplace I assume. This did not... <laughs> Y'all, anytime someone's like, I'll come back in this series, <laughs> they don't. Oh. And I just... You really think he won't? I don't, I don't know what I think. He just has to climb up as well for the third time. I... Don't gaslight me. You and I both know that nobody comes back in this series. Like, nobody... Like, this I is just, a pessimism sneaking in. <laughs> like, I, yeah. Be like, optimistic. Just, Have hope. No, no. I will not be heartbroken and unable to predict. Okay? Mm-hmm. I need to either be right... And miserable, or happy wrong and wrong. And mis- <laughs> no, 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 no. We're trying to get a good thing in there. <laughs> there needs to be one. But like, cause um, yeah, people don't come back. And like, I know he just has to like go up. But like, I don't know. I just think shady things are gonna happen. Okay, we'll we'll get to that. So let's let's finish the chapter. All right, so they go on down the well. It's a long way, and they're going, and they're going, and they're going. Finally, they get to this gate. And it, well, if it's, it's called the Black Gate, but it's actually white, made out of weirwood. And there's a face on it. And it's, like, glowing or some shit. And the it's Bran, like, thinks bro. it's, like, the face was old and pale, wrinkled and shrunken. It looks dead. If a man could live for a thousand years and never die, but just grow older, this face might, his face might come to look like that. So it's mm. a real old face. And the door opens its eyes. Hello. We yeah. haven't had that before. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. And that it asks. So cool. I want that door. Who are you? Who, 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 who? And then Samwell replies, I'm the sword in the da- darkness. I'm the watcher on the walls, blah, blah, blah. And then the door says, then pass, and opens its lips, and then they just expand to a point where people can walk through it. <laughs> no, no, no. Whoa. Um, and then, so they pass on through, and then as they're walking down, Bran's, like, lip, no, Bran's head touches, like, the top lip, and, like, some water, like, a drop of something runs down, and he 
tastes it and it's like tastes like a tear mm -hmm. so is the door crying yeah the door is the door like y'all are never coming back so farewell <laughs> no the door is okay i have a theory but it relates to my other theories so i don't know if you want me to like start yeah give me all your theories okay so wait no i just want to talk about one thing before okay. <laughs> sorry no no it's okay the that's why i was like i don't want to start so, it's, you know, the thing is that only the brothers of the Night's Watch can get through. And what the gate requires is them to, like, kind of recite the vows. But, like, what if somebody else knows the vows? Can they just recite it and will the door still let nah. them through? No, no it oh, has right. to be, like, a so. legit brother. But what if it's a brother who has broken their vows and is, like, a traitor or something? Can, then they're, the not a bro they're not a brother any if they've broken their vows. What about John? He broke his vows. He slept with Egret. Wait. Did Sam break any vows? Uh, nah. Not yet that we know of. Okay, so taking Gilly with him. Oh, he's just saving her, so that doesn't yeah. count because he's protecting her. Okay. Oh my God, the John. Yeah, I don't. But because I think, or is this more of like a moral like judgment, less of I like was... a? Can it sense? I, that's Run. what I was I was gonna say. I feel like it's more of like a it's almost like a like a this is like a truth test vibe. Almost like if you know that you are like if John because you know, right now John's in that phase of like, I betrayed them. I didn't betray them. I'm still good. So I think so right now he sure wouldn't be able to that you yeah. are faithful, then you will pass. But I if, think so. Okay. Because I think the magic is like I feel like most of the magic in these books, like I, I take it as like like, you know, they talk a lot about, like, the soul and, like, Melisandre will be like, this person has a strong soul, whatever. I forget exactly what she says. So I just take it as more of, like, a, like, faith and, like, your spirit and, like, you know? So it's, like, I just kind of think of it in that way of, like, if you really believe it, like, like that's what you're putting out to the weirwood, you know? Okay. Okay. I don't know, but that's All just right, my so, take. But, so if somebody's, like, really delusional... <laughs> But I think when you're delusional, you're not putting out, like, there's, I don't know, I don't think there's really, like, a certain. It's a vibe detec detector. Yeah, as, as like, as ridiculous as that sounds, I vibe think check. so. No, check out the weirwood door. It is a vibe check. <laughs> All right. Oh, my God. Right. Like, that sounds ridiculous, but I think that's what it is. All right, give me all your theories now. I want to hear what you thoughts. have to say about this tier. Okay. Okay, I want to say one thing about oh, yeah, this door. Do. Scary as shit. I <laughs> I hate these weirwood trees. Every time I see them, really? they're scary as tr I I know I don't like them. Maybe it's the way that they're portrayed in the TV show or whatever. They're Harmuth fucking loved terrifying. That tree. I hate them. But I also the them. one in the them. pilot was probably different, right? Cuz like, I just I guess. assumed everything in the pilot looks different than the real show. A Not little like bit. Much. Yeah, okay, anyway. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, but Emily yeah, no, Doors like the terrifying. <laughs> okay, um, and also, uh, this is not the show. <laughs> no, no. Because it's magical. Why would they put this anything magical terrifying. in their fantasy show? <laughs> I don't so know. that there was something also, that you didn't know. That was oh my god no and also well also sam didn't come up a well he just like came through a door so it wasn't like a jump scare yeah he just kind of really... like it was not this whole build to a thing it was just like he just came through and it's like oh hey you guys you know and it was it was not it was mm -hmm. not this um so this was a very different meeting um than what i expected and what i thought was happening and then yeah i was like okay they're going to what the fuck is happening oh my god a talking door oh no 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 this is my nightmare no. it's definitely hell no well we've had like go through few... its mouth no yeah. we've had few instances of like such like straight up magic there was like the shadow baby with melisandra there's did... we'll talk about that did they the... shadow baby it up in the show hell yeah they did um, That's so funny. The, there's um, that was terrifying because that was very early, like one of the most magical shit to happen in that show. And I was like, yeah, but then they didn't do anything like that for like seasons and seasons. It was scary enough. 
<laughs> yeah, but then in the then. last Samwell chapter, this was also not a thing in the show because Cold Hands does not make an appearance here. No, um, no. I have my so the own whole sequence about of like happening. the the skip. Yeah, keep those because I, I I think I know what's happening, but um, yeah. So there's um, it's not it's not the right order. Yes, exactly. So yeah. in I'm the last so Sam lost. chapter, they were surrounded so by all these it's zombies. Okay. And, like, these thousands of ravens descend upon them, and they're giving Sam directions. Like, they're talking to him. What? And, yeah, remember, they're like, go, and then this way. and Like, they're saying things. And then this, like, undead thing, like, comes up on an elk and is like, hey, come on, let me give you a ride. And that's, like, the second most ridiculously magical thing that's kind of happened. And obviously, dragons were magical. Forgot about those. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they, they they're But around. they were like kind of like the good magical. You know, they were like cool. Um, and then this now is creepy magical. Back to it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I just had to get that out there. Like, I did not know this shit was happening. This is not happening. Um, so, please. Not no, on my watch. On, on <laughs> not on the night's watch, if you will. Hey. <laughs> Okay. All right. Give us your theories. We're like rounding up on two hours here. Okay. Whoops. Okay. okay. <laughs> no, this is good. We're like this is like yeah. I don't know what I was gonna say. Uh, it's good gone. conversation. Yes. There we go. Thank you. Um. Hold up. Sorry, my thoughts were spread out on pages. Okay. <laughs> so, first question. Questions, and then I will attempt to answer my. This is. Th- I am. What's his name? Plato. I was about to say Pluto. And then I was like, I don't think his name is Pluto. <laughs> I am a right. dog. <laughs> <laughs> I have a two year old. <laughs> That's beautiful. Oh my God. Um, yeah, I am Plato. Okay. So why? Bran? Why? Question mark? Which okay. part? Why? Why are we looking for Bran? <laughs> um, why, why are he- we looking for Bran? Why, okay, why is Cold Hands looking for Bran? Ah. Why is he the one? And why how does is he Bran know? The one? And how does he know that Bran's the one? And how does he know that they're in the castle? And if he's that, and what intu- about all those sh- ravens? Sh- sh- and if he's that intuitive and magical, then how did he get it wrong with Sam? Or did he not get it wrong? And he's just saying he got it wrong so Sam can go fetch him. But then why wasn't he honest about that if he was honest about everything else? So so many questions, and then. Um, who is sending cold hands? Who is cold hands the middleman for? What is going on? Wh- why we are what? Why? Who? Why? Who? <laughs> questions. So many questions. And most of them are just who, why, what? Um, okay. Those are my questions. What are your my answers to these? at answers. Okay. Bran is Brandon Stark. So yeah. Stark. And as we know, Starks just have this, like, magical, fun little connection, you know? So there's mm-hmm. that. And then also Bran is a warg. Or Bran can warg. Bran is not a yeah. warg. That's not a thing, right? He is a warg. Yeah, he you is. Can, you can, so you are a warg and it's it's a verb and a noun? Yeah. Yes. Okay, yes. Cool. I thought I was saying that wrong. Okay, cool. So Bran's <laughs> a warg. Um, so that's, once again, like, this level of magical ascension that no one else in his family has you know or that's not true but well all the other ones john are dying. displayed fine. it and aria displayed yeah well aria's it. dead um john is busy doing other stuff and he's like <laughs> i've never heard of this nope nope yeah welcome well, to the fantasy too. not in my game of thrones <laughs> <laughs> oh my god this makes me really happy because i think every other guest we've had has been very spoiled on the books <laughs> but this is like, I feel a nice little kidship and I really like it. Cause I'm like, oh my Me God, too. you also don't know. I also don't know, yep. you know? Um, okay. So third thing. You can Bran. listen to the episodes when they watch House of the Dragon. <laughs> Cause those don't relate to anything. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> That's funny. I mean, they relate to uh, Fire and Blood, which is a pretty good history book, but I'm a history nerd. So it's a, <laughs> <laughs> it's a fake history book, Emily. <laughs> no, I, yeah. Cause. I just talked really? to my There's sister on one of the episodes. Dragons? Like, what do you mean? Where did it? <laughs> what? 
<laughs> yeah. I was like, yeah, where did this story come from? And she was like, oh, from one of the fake history books. And I was like, he wrote f- like Cimmerillion esque books. What? <laughs> there okay, is. So- it- there's like multiples. Not all of them are good, but this one is actually good. Okay. All right. Interesting. Um, yeah. Third thing is, I think, um, I don't know what this means. I just wrote needs powers prophecy. Oh, I know what I meant. Okay. I was like, what's going on? <laughs> uh, maybe this clear clear hands, coat hands. Cold oh, hands. Cold. <laughs> He's Why cold. Why is it so hard for you to grasp this? I don't this? know. Okay, because my brain visualizes the It's word. like me no, okay, with listen. my bad blood circulation. Yeah. Cold oh, no. hands. <laughs> <laughs> Please. No, it's because my brain, I don't logic it. It's because my brain sees the word and I see an S at the end and I, I see a C and an O at the beginning. And that's <laughs> all I have in my brain. And there's a bunch okay, of Okay, cold hands. Cold hands. Okay. So maybe there's like a prophecy. I'm going to every other magical series in the world because there's always a prophecy, sure. right? Maybe there's like sure. a prophecy and like brands just like the chosen one, you know? Mm-hmm. So I'm, t- I'm sure. copping out. That's my cop out answer. So I feel so like what all was... of those things combined is why it's brand. Well, what was Jojen's explanation for finding Bran? Was that the three eyed crow, he had green dreams and that three eyed crow... He, Bran Told should go to, to find three. Bran. Yeah. Okay. And then okay. Bran should find the three-eyed crow. So you, which is called the we, three-eyed raven in the show. Same thing, but it's. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, so that we were just accepted that as fact because it's like, yeah. oh well, he. Okay. 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 Yeah. yeah. So who? who qu- question you asked yourself, Harmouth. Who sent cold mm-hmm. hands? What's your answer to that? I have a couple of answers. Okay. My first answer, just for funsies, maybe like, I don't know, Benjamin Stark. <laughs> I don't know, maybe Ooh. he's back in the picture, like just for fun. So Benjamin sent cold hands? Yeah, maybe Benjamin, like, you know, was like, you know, as we know, Benjamin was ranging and then homie got lost. So maybe cool. homie got lost. How does Benjamin oh, know this cold hands? Benjamin you know, was just vibing in the forest one day, and then Cold Hands just came across him and was like, hey! I like your vibes. <laughs> they just vibed. And then- they shook the hands, and Benjen was struck by the handshake. And just- <laughs> <laughs> he was like, you have Good a handshake can do a lot. <laughs> yeah, you know, like I said, that theory is just for fun, just because we haven't seen Benjen okay. in a while. I don't really What's have the second one? Second one? is even more ridiculous what if it's like a child of the forest we didn't hear them about having cold hands but sure you know and then it also like it ties in with like the weird so and, like, cold hands couldn't be sent by sent by this three-eyed crow person thing though right you could but i still don't understand what that is so i don't really have a theory for it like if i like, yeah yes, i don't think we have enough you know what i mean like information I, oh, I, like I was thinking that, but I didn't have. I can't expand on that. My only like evidence that to that is like with Cold Hands' connection to all those ravens, which is kind of yeah. like the three-eyed crows thing. Yeah, no, that makes sense. They're pretty heavy-handed like... with the symbolism of birds. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're everywhere. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know. Like, yeah, it makes sense, but I just kind of dismissed it because I was like, that's probably very likely, but I just. I can't really talk about that because what am I gonna say? Oh, it was the rape. It was the three eyed crow, and you're gonna be like, "Okay, what does that mean?" And I'm not gonna know what to say. <laughs> you know, it's so... like that movie from Schitt's Creek. Have either of you seen Schitt's Creek? I haven't finished it, so not enough, probably. Okay. Anyway, sorry. There, there's like a <laughs> fake movie in it, and it's all about crows, and it's spent. Oh, it's no. so funny. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> it is ridiculous and That's fantastic. Beautiful. Love that. Um, what? Okay. Uh, you know, Harmouth, how I sometimes spoil you on theories? Now, yes. remember, yes. these are theories based on the information you have now, okay. not based Actual? on like what may have been like corrected or whatever later. Mm-hmm. So, a lot of folks believed Cold Hands was Benjen. Not that he was sent by Benjen, but he himself was Benjen. Oh, shit. 
but then there was like some manuscript like an early manuscript or something and then there's this whole thing i don't know if i'm going to get it correct but there was a ma- there's a manuscript that lives in like a library cuz it's like a you know manuscript? first edition or whatever right yeah and in it george r r martin has like made a note about cold hands and his editors like oh is cold hands benjin and apparently george r r martin replied to his editor saying no so according to that it may be debunked but i don't know is this another one of those things that just never gets cleared up maybe it's like one of those maybe george r martin is doing the when you say something right and i say no not at all thing (laughs) to all the readers in the world yeah he's doing that to everyone because he's like i wanted you to figure that out books from now and then everyone got Mm -hmm. it like books earlier see here's the thing every time you tell me a theory and it aligns with what i think it makes me feel really smart but then i remember (laughs) that like None of this has shit has been confirmed. Like when Nav first told me about wait, 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 wait. What okay. you're about to say, Emily does not know. I don't think so. We're not going to talk about it. What? <laughs> yes, Harvath, move on. What? Okay, my mind this is, is what blown. Happens. <laughs> <laughs> like what? season six is like at the end of season six. Emily can talk about it, but she can't talk okay. about it yet. That's so I. I or maybe she can talk about it at the end of season seven. I can't remember, but she doesn't know well, about it yet. Not as far supposed as to be on the last episode of season six. We need to talk so you would know. I, I'll, well, I haven't because uh, the last episode that I listened to was like two weeks ago. So I don't know exactly which episode you oh my God. most recently saw. Well, I just saw. recorded the ninth. So, okay. um, so I look forward we'll to listening to it and figuring okay, out what's Emily going on. Emily has to come back after that is done, <laughs> because what the fuck? Okay. I've never, I don't know. Because I've never... Because this, this is, is something so Harmouth has pretty much figured since book one. Wow. Yeah, so to me And it's like, Emily, you're like way beyond and you don't know what we're talking about. No? Nope. I'm so confused. Yeah. I think this is one of the only things... I would like to think this is one of the only things that I've like predicted from the get-go. But anyway, I'm moving on. <laughs> Um, okay and so it's some, okay cool it's like pretty big deal i would say <laughs> wait shut up i'm like, like a pretty big things. deal <laughs> no i'm sorry i'm just i've never been the spoiled one so i can't i don't uh, know how to I act know. like i literally don't know how to act okay neither do i <laughs> this is blowing my mind okay Okay, anyway, yeah, theories, Benjin, yeah, so, <laughs> it, it, that makes me feel smart that other people also associate this whole thing with Benjin. Yeah. Um, yeah, because, like, he's lost really beyond he's the dead. wall, and there's, there's he's this, a like, rogue strange... character. Yeah. 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 So, anyway, um, okay, interesting. Yeah. Were those all your questions and then replies to Wait, your own questions? Think. Because I can ask you some questions, if you like. <laughs> Why does that sound like a threat? <laughs> Nova always <laughs> comes up with the hardest questions. questions. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. Some of the things that you make me predict, I'm like, yes, I can guarantee yes. you other people are not having to think about this. And no, but I just want you, you to dumb. say something on it that in case you're right, right or like so wrong that somebody okay, listening valid. can get some joy out of it. Okay, right. valid. Okay, it's well, like no, when you very, say... They're very pointed, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh Every God. time nov has been on, she has questions for me, and I'm like, fuck, you gotta make me think. <laughs> I like uh, asking questions. No, no, they're very enjoyable. It's beautiful. I love the, it's the added element that isn't normally there, which is so much fun. It's beautiful. Okay, wait. I think I had a... Um, do, 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 do. Okay, so my theory is that if it's the children of the forest... Children of the forest. <laughs> That's a lot. Of forest. <laughs> it's fine. Okay. So the the, they're trying to. Okay. This is my like, my brain going off. Okay. Children of the forest. Um, war, chaos. You know, everyone's fighting everyone. Um, plus like climate change, kind of, sort of. Um. Not like the change. whole winter is coming? Yes. Not climate change. Sorry. We always relate it to climate the change. Others. So my brain goes climate change Yeah, the of others ours. are like this inevitable thing that's happening that nobody is dealing Sorry. with. Sorry. That's yeah. why they're climate change. I, I skipped a few I steps. In my, I do this thing okay. where ha- sometimes I think half of the things in my head that I should say out loud. Mm. So half of the thoughts yeah. happened in my head. And then I was like, why do you both look confused? Um, <laughs> yeah. So that was... A, 
anyway, yeah, not climate change. So the others, like, all of this shit happening, and then everyone's busy, busy fighting everyone else, and then the whole Mance Radar, Raider, Mance Radar, Mance Radar? Mm, Raider. Raider? Raider. Raider. That's his name? Thank you. Okay. Yeah. That whole shit, I feel like it's like, children of the forest are like, the forest is weeping, you know? And they're like, we gotta, like, restore <laughs> everything. Um, and then also, because... They can't cross the wall because spells. Um, so, so this cold hands is a child of the forest. That's what you're saying. Cold hands for is this a theory? messenger for the children of the forest. Okay, cool. cold hands is not a child of the forest. Cool. Um, and then what? Are, okay, so. I'm getting somewhere with this. I'm getting somewhere with this. I'm trying. Sorry. You take so long that you lose me halfway through. Okay, well, if you would just listen, then I would get there. Okay, (laughs) now I'm losing my own thoughts. Um, Children, children. Children. (laughs) Children of the forest. I am older than both of you. Children of the forest. Um, (laughs) Why are my thoughts gone? Oh, Bran. Okay, sorry. Yes. Bran is restored. Okay. Bran is going to be, like, their, like, messenger who's, like, out here being, like, don't fight! I've seen it all! Like, you know his very first dream where he, like, saw everything and it was, like, shit's going to hell, maybe let's But why would anybody listen to Brad? He's just a kid. But maybe, I don't know. Don't debunk (laughs) my theory. I don't know. (laughs) It's fine. Anyway. It's what I do. (laughs) True, yes. Anyway, I don't know. I just feel like... I would love Bran to be like the little like, hey people, let's get the messenger some sense. of the little people. <laughs> why are the oh because they're children? Okay, I was like, why are they little? <laughs> yeah. Or that's like a thing. Like, uh, I don't know. I'm referencing something that even my brain can't pull up. Okay. Like all the archives are just messed up. It doesn't matter. <laughs> um. Anyway, there's, like, a whole... Sorry, I'm explaining it terribly, but it's pretty much, like, Bran's, like, the little, like, messenger, and they're gonna show Bran shit, and then he's gonna... They're gonna train him to use his powers in a way that he can, like... In a way that he can show people what he sees. You know what I mean? Okay. That's what I'm trying to... And then get everybody on the same page to fight these White Walkers that are gonna... Yes. ...destroy the world. Okay. Yes. There we go. All right, I like that. That didn't like, come I'm out the way I wanted somewhere. it to the first time. I got okay, really okay. lost. Um, Sam Gilly. First off, you're like they're not not even gonna make it together. <laughs> oh yes. Okay. Here's what I think is gonna happen. <laughs> so Sam, I don't know. Sam, I think will be fine. Like the whole thing will like work out. He'll be doing his thing. But I think Gilly. Um, okay. So there's a fire. Right? They were like, you can use our fire. It's a little cook fire. (laughs) It's fine. (laughs) Let me say it before you debunk it. Okay. So there's a fire, and there's like, and like people are nearby, you know, like Mance and them are trying to get across. Um, like, freaking, what's her name? What's her name? Mira saw the The eagle. eagle. Thank you. The eagle that belongs to them. So they're like right there. You know? Okay. So I just... Here, I, but how are they going to get across the wall? I don't know, but I just think... But then there's <laughs> also... Okay. Cause Before Sam can make it back up the well? Because sh- then there's also some, like, free folk that escaped and didn't die in the whole fire on the wall thing. Um, like at Castle Black, yes. which was miles and hey, miles away? Hey, hey, I don't make the rules. I didn't write the series. <laughs> <laughs> um, like, I just feel like there's too many people around for Sam to make it back before Gilly gets found by someone else. Or, like, the baby starts crying and Gilly's like, It should oh, he take, like, cry. ten minutes. No. No, it's fine. I just don't Okay, fine. All right, Gilly excited. and baby are not okay, but say not Sam is okay. Yeah. Oof. He goes where? Um, I mean, he's trying to make it back to Castle Black, right? So maybe he just mm-hmm. kind of walks on over. <laughs> so he reunites with John. Does oh, he tell yeah. John that he saw Bran and all this? Oh, shit, because he's not supposed to. But also it's John. I think he'll tell him, but like be like very covert. 
And then what will John's reaction be? John will be like, yay, but what the fuck? You took my brother to some random fucking stranger. Like, what are you doing? Um, John might know about it. <laughs> He'll be like, uh, after all I what did are you for doing? you. Yeah, yeah, Kaime in this way. I don't know why he talks. I don't know why he talks like that. But um, especially now that I've heard his voice, I have no excuse for doing these people's voices wrong. It's fine. Um, it's fine. Um, You're John- closer than you think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Please. Oh my god. John um, will probably be mad and then he might be like take me to him <laughs> <laughs> sorry i can't not do it now um so yeah that's what i think is gonna happen okay i like it all right predictions for john and wherever like whether or not sam makes it there right away or whatever, later yeah. or whatever so now they've defended against the attack coming mm-hmm. like south of the wall mm-hmm. but they still got Mance and his whole people yeah. coming north of the wall and it's like now they really have to like because the thing is now all the extra villagers you had are gone now half like there not was 40, all but mo- like a lot, lot of them are gone right and then like we started off with 40 people and now what we're down to like 30 probably less um and so now we really just need to wait for the like the people to come back like the ones who were off defending physically at the wall. Mm-hmm. So well, like the scattered kind of our, forces that need to gather. Yeah, they're back kind of our only spot. hope because without them, like you know, we. But literally... even with them, it'll be like two hundred people max against a hundred thousand. Yeah, but it's better than like forty untrained people. Right, but like, what are the odds? Like, do you think they'll be successful in defending the wall against? Yeah, but Mans? We, yeah, but we also have a fucking wall. That's true. S- like so high and so. But they really scary. only got to get through the gate. <sighs> we'll put our little barricades back up. That'll do it. <laughs> I can't sure. even say that. I can't even say that with a straight face. Yeah, no, you're right. Also, um, I'm just realizing mm-hmm. the barricade was made up of all their like stores of things, yeah, and like, now food we have and no stuff, and now they burnt that shit. Yeah, now we don't really have Food. anything anymore. Winter is coming, don't y'all know? Yeah. No. <laughs> There's not enough them. Starks. <laughs> <laughs> There's not a Stark to tell them, please. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't know. I never said it's looking good. Yeah, they're probably gonna, <laughs> I don't know, they'll probably like get through probably, but like hopefully they oh. can stop. And then Mads Raider will be the king in the north. King of the north. I guess. Because my issue with that is, like, we don't even know what he wants to, like... We don't even really know what he's trying to do. We know he's trying to get south of the wall. Yeah, but beyond that, like, is he trying to, like... Because we know that his, like... Like, or... I don't right. Know, I don't know if I'm making this up or if this is actually true. But he's kind of just the king just because, right? He's not, like... I want to be king, and I want you to bow down to me. So, like, I don't know if his whole thing is, well, like, I okay, need to be so the- Okay, so when we met him with through John, mm-hmm. his whole deal was he united all the free folk mm-hmm. because he wanted... He saw this, like, White Walker attack coming, and he was, and like, he was like, we, we gotta, gotta unite yeah. and get beyond that wall. Yeah. So that's mm-hmm. his goal. I don't know if he's, like, now... Does he even let's have get a that plan? beyond. Yeah, let's get yeah. beyond the wall and then I'm going to rule everybody. Like, Yeah, that's what I mean is like I don't I don't get that vibe from him. Like homie just likes to play his harp, you know? So, <laughs> like I he plays a harp. He's a singer. Okay. He, did, he yeah. wasn't Aww. a singer in the show? <laughs> no. They don't have he time for that. People are nothing. <laughs> oh my god. No. Okay. Um uh yeah, like I just don't see like, you know, cuz everybody obviously I guess south of the wall is like, oh my god, he's the king beyond the wall, he's trying to rule, ah, oh, we have this other king vying for the throne, but I really don't think he's vying for the throne, but I don't really know what he's trying to do either, so it's just kind of, either way, I just hope, if he makes it through, like, n- hopefully now we have more people to defend, you know, because as of right now, we have, like, zero. Mm-hmm. So, right. Because then we have, like, an actual threat to worry about, right? So, mm-hmm. so you think they might... They might just stay in the north. 
I don't think they will, but I think at least a significant, like, I, I would think that at least a significant portion would. So know? they get through the wall, like, maybe but that then can be help like, de- yeah. defend the wall. Maybe that can be, like, the deal of, like, mm. you guys can come through mm. if this is what you provide. At least, to, in my mind, that's the smart way to go about it. I don't think any of these characters are rational, <laughs> so I don't think they, they are going to do it that way. But I think that, like, this would be a great time to partner up and, like, use these mm-hmm. extra resources that we have. Um, All right. Cool. Yeah. Um, I don't think I can think of any other predictions because we talked about, like, oh, we did. Okay, so Bran's going to go check out how the children of the forest and their situation. And then he's going to go back and inform the rest of the world about it. And everybody will listen. <laughs> yeah. Because he's a seven-year-old child. <laughs> good things happen in these books. Mm-hmm. All right. It's fine. Um, I don't think I... Can anybody else think of any more predictions to make? I don't think so. <laughs> I feel like we've exhausted it. I feel like I've been Mm-mm. speaking continuously for way too long. And I don't like it. <laughs> the, more, the more I talk about what I think is going to happen next... Especially now with two of you who have to control your facial expressions. I say something and I'm like, oh, that wasn't right. Or I say something and I'm like, oh, that was ridiculous. So I'm just like, I don't want to hear my own voice anymore. Let's move on. Okay. That's fair. (laughs) All right. Um, Any closing thoughts on these chapters? Anybody? Well, I'm going to say I liked the brand chapter and I like the magic and I don't care that you guys didn't like it. (laughs) are misconstruing i liked it i just thought that there were a lot of stories and there were times where i was like okay let's move on but i still enjoyed it and it was cute we like the sitcom crossover (laughs) (laughs) i love how you're comparing the like most horror horror like chapter to sitcoms and no because it really is the dialogue is sitcom It was, and then horrifying tree that will haunt my dreams. Um, So yeah, it just, it balances out. So funny. I I didn't realize you felt that way about, I I knew you were like, those faces are creepy, but I didn't realize you like, were so strongly about them. I hate them so much. So funny. Uh, They're scary ass looking, they're just, it's not, I mean, this is going to sound so stupid and obvious. They're not natural. It's not okay (laughs) looking. Like, I know this is a fantasy series, but Faces and Trees is not okay. (laughs) That's not something I want in my fantasy books. Another guest that we've had on our podcast, Christina from the Restricted Section, actually has a tattoo of a beer with tree because she loves them so much. <laughs> hell no. <laughs> That's so I funny. respect you as a person, but hell no. <laughs> I just love this I've contrast. Never... No, Please. yeah. That's beautiful. No, man. That's not that's not my thing um, <laughs> all right but i don't i don't have the book relationship with them i have them cgi'd in my face <laughs> uh in the episodes and they're just like um, it, it's jarring they don't tell you what's gonna happen you can do you're not reading it and then visualizing it yourself you're just like tree face and you're like no <laughs> no yeah <laughs> don't oh be there <laughs> And they're like, oh, we respect them. They're like of the gods. I'm like, no, burn that shit down. Please. That's funny. Get rid of that. Please. Yeah. Okay. So uh, let's, I'm going to quickly, next chapters. We're reading two. Harmouth, give, you, give me your hopes and predictions for which ones they'll be. Danny and. Ooh. Who's even left? Quite literally. <laughs> Here's the thing. Because we don't usually get. <laughs> Because we don't usually get new chapters in the middle of a book, but, like, we're running out of characters, le- and there's still a lot of book left. We have so, plenty of characters. Yeah. No. I, okay, fine. Danny and Jamie. Ooh. Okay, close. So, oh. reading chapters 57 and 58, chapter 57 is Daenerys. <gasps> yeah. So, last time, she was uh, freeing the enslaved people of Yunkai. And everybody was calling his, her mother and just cheering her Lisa. on. Lisa. Yeah. <laughs> and um, n- now what? I don't know. Maybe she'll just be, like, vibing. I think she'll, like, take him over. Is, um, I don't know. She'll just, like. Well, she said she wouldn't take over the city as long as they freed the enslaved people. Right. So maybe. I, I'm sure. A certain amount of them will feel a loyalty to her and be like, hey, I'll just go with you. 
So she'll get some new people, and then they'll start traveling, doing their thing. More traveling. Okay. That's all she does, Well, I feel like in Danny's chapters, that's a solid (laughs) prediction. Fair. Absolutely. Um... All right, chapter 58 is Tyrion, who is Jamie's brother. So that's kind of close. <laughs> a Lannister. <laughs> oh my God. Um, uh, last time we saw him, he had the joyous task of telling Sansa about the Red Wedding. <gasps> <laughs> More misery. Oh no. Yeah. And they were prepping for Joffrey's wedding and Joffrey was being a little bitch and all of that. Okay, but I don't like that because I want to see that from Sansa's perspective, not Tyrion's perspective. Okay. The wedding? The Joffrey being a bitch. (laughs) No, 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 not that. Um, Oh, (laughs) what? No, no, no. Like when she finds out about the red wedding. Oh, yeah, no. But like Tyrion was like, okay, I'll go tell her. Do you want me to do it before? Like... Cause yeah, because Tywin was like, was go like have a kid you gotta her. get her pregnant. Man. Yeah. And he was like, and oh, she'll wanna fuck me after I tell her this or before? Like, what do you think? What do you suggest, dear father? Um, dear father. <laughs> my dear father. Um, mm. Sorry, now I'm lost. The word father <laughs> does not feel like a real word anymore. Um, what, what did you ask me? <laughs> what are we gonna see in Tyrion's oh. chapter? <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, I, I would sure hope that we finally get this wedding. Because I need a better wedding than the ones we've seen recently. Like Joffrey and Marjorie. Mm-hmm. You're ready for another wedding? I'm ready. Because I'm hoping it's better oh, wow. than both um, Tyrion and Sansa's wedding and um, Edmure and Rosalind's wedding. Yeah. Okay. It's hard not to be. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I can't remember the specifics of this chapter, I don't think. Interesting. Okay. But I know generally what's going on. Okay, anyway. Um, Emily, yeah, has this cool. encouraged you to read the books? Or are you like <laughs> creepy? I am no. curious. I'm like looking ahead like, what does happen? You <laughs> should totally skim. Like, if you don't want to read it, you should definitely skim I, the important chapters in this book. I can even I like give up, them to you. I ended up doing that when I was numbering the chapters. I got caught on like a word or a sentence and be like, oh, what's happening right here? Oh, oh. okay. I know what this, I know this scene. Okay. And keep skipping ahead. So I, you yeah, want, I'm very, you want like I know mind. where you are in the series ooh, and I'm like, ooh, this. this is an interesting part. That's um, cool. Oh, oh, I want to blow your mind, but I want to do it not for Hartmouth can read and listen. <laughs> I think that's fair. That's evil. Harmus, why don't you take off your headphones for just like uh until I wave back at you? But it's recorded. Just, it's fine. <laughs> Who's editing this? I am editing it, so it's fine. Okay. And Harmus won't listen to it. <laughs> this that's, is evil. That's, that's up to her. Come on, Harmus, just do it. Or enough can tell me later. <laughs> just do it, please. This is so evil. Whatever. <laughs> I'll wave. Okay. If you want your mind blown, read uh-huh. the epilogue, and it's gonna be a slog for. 90% of it, but just read the epilogue. I promise, I promise you will not regret it. So I just need to read that part? Uh, don't, read the whole epilogue. Well, I'll, read as much of the epilogue as you can, but really pay attention closer to the end. Oh, God. But you don't okay. have to do it right now. Okay. Oh, no, I'm, I'm not. I'm wait. just looking to where it was. Okay. All right. I will look into that. Word. Okay. All right, listeners, you got a hint at what I told Emily, but nobody else. And it wasn't spoilery enough. It was just spoilery of, like, where in the book. So I didn't want Harma to know that either. Cool. Yeah. We're good. We're good. It's great. I can't wait. Please text me after you read it. (laughs) Oh, sure. Okay. Have we already read what you're about to read? No. Is it in this book? Yeah. Okay. We have a lot of books. Wait, when we, when we get there, can you tell me that oh, that's yeah. what I'll you wanted you. Emily to read? Okay. I will. Don't forget. I, will. I Yeah. Write okay. it in your book. Yeah, exactly. It'll come. It, no, there's no, 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 no write way it, it won't down. come up. Write it down. <laughs> right now. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> no. Because, yeah. It'll be a little callback, and I'll be like, "Oh my god, I remember when we did that three years ago." Because we'll still and be on this so book mad. In three years. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, All right. It's fine. 
Okay, so Emily, do you want to tell yes. everybody about Game of Thrones? Sorry sure. that it took two and a half hours to get here. Well, if they don't hate the sound of my voice by now, then maybe they'll want to listen to my own <laughs> podcast. So I I host a podcast called Game of Thrones. I host it with my sister. Uh, she's my co-host and my quote-unquote Game of Thrones expert. Um <laughs> Premise, you, you know, may sound a little familiar to you all. Um, I have never watched Game of Thrones, nor have I read the books. Uh, and I decided to go on that journey after the whole series had ended and watch them and talk about how batshit crazy this show is <laughs> um, with friends and family and podcasters uh, alike. And so we are currently at the end of season six. So we're getting towards the really controversial stuff, I believe. I believe. I don't know. Um, <laughs> this is just my guess. Um, but if, you know, y- you watch the show and you enjoyed it or didn't and want to hear, you know, a third perspective, because I think a lot of people it's. It didn't age well sometimes, and you got to look at it and be like, was this part of... It was just part of the zeitgeist, and so it's really... I think it's been nice to hear my my sister talk about it now and say, yeah, this was really crazy. We accepted this at the time because it was the show, yeah. and then now, you know, five, ten years later, you're like, what what was happening here? Um, but it's called Game of Groans. Um, we're on social media at Game of Groans Pod. We do have a Patreon where uh, we list unedited episodes of the show. So if you like me and if you end up liking my sister too, we talk about really random stuff. (laughs) And usually there's a tangent or two. And uh, you can also get uh, the notes that she and I both take while we're watching the show. Um, and sometimes, uh, sometimes those are just as entertaining as my the brother says itself. that he <laughs> likes reading the notes more than listening sometimes because it's just like just so many capitals, so many exclamation points. I I don't hold back in my notes. I think even more than the show because they're just <laughs> essentially they're just for me. Um, but yeah, it's patreon.com slash Game of Thrones Pod and. Um, yeah, uh, we're we're go listen we're to fun. it. We're going strong. Um, I gotta say, yeah. I, I liked it when it was a new guest every time because there was a new perspective. But I've been like fun. extra yeah. loving it since Kate has been regular because then you can have the yes. continuity of having like conversations really extended helps. over episodes. Yes. And Kate's always saying exactly what I'm thinking, and it's <laughs> so so cool to have like that person in in. You know, like when you're listening to something, because otherwise I'm like, yeah, yeah exactly. Mm-hmm. I yeah, just like love the it. Cas- yeah, the casual fan that knows what happens and watched <laughs> it during the time. And and yeah. No, no but I- she also has some really cool takes. Mm-hmm. The Both yeah. both of you do. For well, At first, you. since you're siblings, your voices, I was like, okay, who's talking for it the takes first a like, two episodes? Yes. But now I know. I know exactly who's talking. I don't even need you to introduce yourselves anymore. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, we do sound similar. But yes, if you if you do go back to the beginning, number one, I'm sorry because I'm a better podcaster now. Number Please. two, um, the first three seasons did have rotating guests of family, friends, and podcasters, including of uh, season four and beyond is my sister, constant co-hosting and uh, additional guests when you know we can fit them in. Yeah, and I'll be on for the last mm-hmm. episode of season six, which I yes. am so looking forward to. Yeah, I am I too. Wait. I'm I'm excited about this finale. I don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> wait, Obviously. I feel like did which episode did I? Which one has come out most recently? Not that one. I'm a I'm a few. We're a few ahead. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Because I'm like the last one. We're I trying to was like we're seven trying to batch something. record a little bit. Yeah. 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 That's a smart idea. I try. <laughs> but it makes me feel left out. I'm just kidding. Oh, because you don't. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I have more to look forward to. So yeah. that'll be great. All right. So um, for us, you all know who we are. We talk nonsense here all the time. Yeah. You can <laughs> please send us an email. Oh, speaking of emails, I think we have an email. Ooh. Uh, even though this episode is getting so no, long, no, I'm just going to. email. It's fine. Um, we love getting emails from listeners. It's just like one of our favorite parts. When people ever. send an email, I'm like, <laughs> oh my god, people like that, listen. Yeah, that's no, literally, that's 
no one can see what I'm doing right now, but I'm like waving my hands up like a child because that's the emotion that I feel when Nav's like, we Oh, it's so all. exciting. Yeah. I love emails. Write emails. All right. Really we have loud. three. Sorry. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, oh. Emily. <laughs> um, You're going to get the special three email. What? I don't even know what to call it. <laughs> The special. three email special. Three email special. <laughs> yeah. I'll, All right. I'll order that. Hey. So the first I'll have one. She's having. <laughs> Quality reference. Um, the first one is from Gamma. <coughs> Sorry. And the subject is Gamma, he, him. Thank you, Gamma, for clarifying. So good evening, Gamma Nelvin Harmouth. Yes. My Hi, name Gamma. is. Uh, Gamaliel, but everybody calls me Gamma, and I'm from Southern California. I've been listening to your podcast since Mar March of last year, and I absolutely adore it. I became familiar with George R. R. Martin's series, initially by watching the show, and everyone who read the books told me to give it a read. I work long hours, and everyone who read the books told me to give it a read. Wait, no. <laughs> I reread the same sentence. I work long hours, <laughs> and life is hectic, so I put off reading the books and thought it would be better to just listen to your summaries of each chapter. Well, I did Ooh. just that, but I binged on your context, content so often that I caught up to y'all by last October. I was patient enough to go at the pace y'all were going at, so I finally began reading. I wasn't patient enough to go at the pace y'all were going at, <laughs> so I finally began reading the books and absolutely loved it. Ooh. So in a way, I do believe I finally got around to it because this podcast hooked me on the series. Oh, that's so sweet. That's amazing. Uh, just like Nav mentioned last week, the Red Wedding reaction for Harmouth was the whole reason I'm sending this email. I told myself <laughs> for the longest time to email y'all since you've said you love reading emails, and I'm glad I finally got around to typing this because I have few friends that enjoy this series as much as I do. So talking about it in depth is music to my ears. Harmouth, your reaction definitely didn't disappoint, and my friend, that... That was my reaction as well when reading the chapter, because okay. even though I already watched the show version, it still didn't make it any easier when reading in detail what Kathleen witnessed, and I'm still not over it. Thank you. Anywho, I have rambled. I'm reading this horribly. I'm so sorry, Gamma. Um, anywho, I've rambled long enough and just want to thank you both for helping my mornings helping my mornings better because I commute for my job and your weekly podcast makes it a little bit more enjoyable. Have a wonderful day. And here's to the rest of the chapters that wait ahead for us. Yay. Thank Aww. you, Gamma. You're so cool. <coughs> and thank you for validating my red wedding <laughs> reaction. I need people to do that because I Harmouth really that. wanted to hear how other people reacted to it. I like, I mm. demanded that people send in their reactions. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, if you guys want me to continue with this, uh, being on this podcast, do you have to? Ooh. I don't Rex, usually go there, but I well went for Game of Thrones. Stands. I went there. I don't usually go there, but I had to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this threatened to quit. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Um, the next email is from Moss, and it's titled "Late as Usual." <laughs> Chuckle the whole episode. Nav, you are an evil genius in how you caught a lightning in bottle. Thank you. Harmouth thinks, by the way, that's the best compliment I've ever gotten. Evil genius. I love it. <laughs> oh um, Harmouth, thanks for being our lab rat. I have been <laughs> trying to snare some gullible friend into this miserable reality of the Song of Ice and Fire. No luck. Plus, in our defense, we were looking at a rock pushed downhill by Nav and couldn't do anything but watch it roll to this exact point. <laughs> so I guess that's in defense of the readers or listeners. Oh. Um, having established my terrible memory, I watched the show first and violent as always. So reading the book, I was numb to it and I don't catch things beforehand. Much love, Moss. Oh my God. There you go. <laughs> I'm an evil genius and you're our lab wait, wait, wait. rat. What was the last part? Uh, hang on. Let me go back homie to... Homie did catch it or homie didn't catch it while reading the book? Uh, I watched the show first and violent as always. So reading the book, I was numb to it. And didn't oh. catch the things beforehand. Mm. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Because, mm. like, yeah. yeah that makes uh, sense. Okay. The last email. Now, this is... Usually I read them beforehand to vet them for spoilers, but I actually haven't because we just got this one hour ago. <gasps> we were recording! Mm. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. 
So this email is from Fuzzy from the Discord. That's their uh, username on there. Hi, Fuzzy. And so it's titled Red Wedding Thoughts plus a defense of the Honorable Eddard Stark. <gasps> Hello, Harmat and Nav. Oh. This is Fuzzy from the Discord, or at least that is what you can call me on air. A man has no name. A man also has no character limit on Gmail. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Solid. Since, Please, since Harmuth is soliciting funny. red wedding reactions, here we go. I read all of the books after seeing season one of the show and beca- became utterly entranced. I still remember the moment I read huh. those two chapters over 10 years ago. <gasps> At the time, I was barely employed and living in the proverbial parents' <laughs> basement. I g- what, what does that mean? <laughs> I, got- parents basement. I just love that. I don't really get what it means, but I like I it. I feel that. I got what little cultural enrichment I could at night, reading in the dark while reduced to getting high by licking THC-laced coconut oil right off my finger straight from a used plastic jar that still had traces of sesame paste mixed into the coconut. <laughs> That's oddly specific. It's so specific. Okay, Fuzzy, you need this to is... write novels. I I will stories. write your I will read your novels. Yeah. <laughs> this is quite the email to not have read ahead of exactly. time, so I have no idea yeah. what to expect. So your reaction is like <laughs> cuz you could have paced for it if you hadn't That's so funny. I love this. Uh. This is all to set the stage for how utterly dazzled I was by the unfolding of the Red Wedding. Mm -hmm. I had to reread each paragraph and cross-reference that what I thought was happening was actually happening. Then Ruse fucking Bolton showed up, my favorite (laughs) side character for being a fantastically (gasps) devious fuck, and it all fell into place. I was awed, and despite the sick feeling in my gut, I genuinely felt like I had witnessed something masterful. Oh my god. Then I read Arya's chapter. Mm. I fucking hated it, and I still do. If I am among other people who know these books, I will complain about it, much as I am doing right now. Arya was my favorite character, and plotline brutally cut short, and it was all for nothing. That part's in all Thank caps. you. I, I agree. She did not need <laughs> to die. Like, what fucking purpose did that... Like, the fuck... Like, yes, I get that, like, Rob was king and, like, it mattered. And, like, Catelyn, like, you know, had been alive for a while and, like, was the mom. And, like, you know, killing the mom is always, like, a... uh, Killing any of the parents is always, like, a little, like, oh, you know, you killed the parent. Like, that's such a fantasy thing. However, Arya literally could have been... Could have become the leading lady. Leading... Literally the leading person, like, alone the entire time. Mm -hmm literally could have had a fantastic series anyway I yeah totally. oh side note before i continue uh people i think oz specifically on discord wanted me to point out that Tyrion was pretty much the main character in the second book and he didn't die so it's not true that all people who have a lot of chapters Tyrion's die. not a stark <laughs> okay all starks who have chapters die yes that's Harmit's like theory okay that's how, I'm, that's how I'm grieving. All right. All right. So <laughs> continuing the email. While I held it together for the deaths of Rob and Catelyn, I actually screamed, what the fuck, at Arya's death and had to come up with a less embarrassing excuse when my parents heard me from upstairs <gasps> and asked what was going on. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. There are only two or three sentences in the entire series I would rewrite, and his axe took her head in the back of... No, her... His axe took her in the back of the head is one of them. Yeah. I wasn't looking forward to the podge- to that podcast episode. I'm not a misery warrior. And I would understand if Harmouth was genuinely mad at everyone who took part in setting her up like that. I was. We gave her bread and salt and Nuv's table and did her dirty. However, <laughs> I... F- That's a good way to phrase it. Yeah. Uh. However... I found Harmut's impromptu reaction very moving, and its Ooh. earnestness and compassion gave me a feeling of validation about the value of artistic experiences that is still sitting with me. So thank you. That's so sweet. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Aren't you glad you cried on recording? <laughs> Are, I don't know. Oh. I still feel so weird about that, because it's like... I've done it if it helps. Okay. Oh my god, wait. Can you tell me what made you cry? No. Oh, shit. So I have more crying to do? 
I think he things hit me differently than you and you know different characters mm-hmm. and stuff like that. So okay. I I fully think it might not be something that you would be affected by as much. Interesting. Because um, that was my like Red Wedding was my first time crying. Yeah, no, no, for me, um, well, because I would, I knew, like, that wasn't, <laughs> but no, it was, mm-hmm. it was things that I did, so similar, mm-hmm. uh, in that way that I had no idea, um, but, yeah, no, I've, I've, I think at least twice I've cried while recording, and then I had to edit myself, so. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> so, you no, edited worry. that out? No, I didn't say I edited it out. Oh, that you had um, to edit your around it like yeah Yeah. it's not fun to listen to again so um so i've i've been there if it helps and it's like this weird thing to put out Mm. to people oh wait uh, oh no i can i bet you cried during season eight episode eight of this it wasn't a season no 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 i know when you because i remember you crying in a previous season but i'm thinking like that you also cried in an upcoming episode Maybe you I didn't. I don't remember now. So maybe. Okay. Um, oh, wait. No, actually, that's not se- That's not the season <laughs> at all. I'm don't sorry. Don't overthink it. <laughs> okay, back to the scene. But either I'm, way. I'm like, getting really stuck. Oh my God. Okay, either we're way, finishing. Either way, I understand. <laughs> and it, it, I'm there with you. Yeah. Cool. Ugh, you got it, oh Harmouth. I can't. Like... I really, because I was like, I just showed Nev my reaction, because I was like, isn't this so funny? And then Nev was like, edit that, like, edit it just for sound quality, because I was like, you heard, I was like, everywhere. You were, yeah, I, yeah, I listened yeah. to it, yeah. And Nev was like, edit it for sound, like, quality, and then stick it at the beginning. I was like, what it's the fuck? So at good. the beginning? Like, what do you mean? Yeah. And then I was like, no, like, just listen to me, just do it. And then I was like, okay, I'll do it. No, it's so, yeah, it's really, really good. Listen, Fuzzy was moved by it, so... Yeah, I was too. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so finally, Fuzzy's last paragraph. Finally, I want to refer to your discussion at the end of the episode about our boy Ned and defend him from the common slander that is that he is innocent and naive. To the contrary, from his earlier life experiences, he knows better than almost anyone the dangers, duplicitous, duplicitness, and brutality of the world, and his flaw if people insist on calling it that, is that he had the moral courage to not only live with dignity, but to try and spread it through the very halls of power while knowing he faced incredible risks. Whoa. That's quite the sentence. All right. Um, He misplayed some of his cards, but he wasn't wrong to try. I spent most of the last 10 years working in politics, mostly for people who know they are going to lose most of their political battles and lose badly. Mm. And I have repeatedly witnessed and genuinely believe how conducting yourself like Lord Eddard Stark of Winterfell, Warden of the North, and Hand of the King makes a meaningful difference in the world. Valar Dohiris Fuzzy. Oh. All right. Wait, that was actually, that was beautiful. Yeah, it's like, you may be, you know, you may have like a rosy-eyed view of the world, but it doesn't mean you shouldn't try to make it better. That's mm-hmm. a good lesson. I like, I like that. that. You're right. I like that. I think I think these books just j- is jade a verb? Jade you in a way? Jade? Can I say that? No, Jaded? can I say jade you in a way? Sh- uh, Cuz I'm trying to I'm trying to make I'm right. trying to make jaded a verb. Like you know yeah, what I mean? But can it be yeah. a verb or can you only or can know. it only be like an adjective like you are jaded? I feel like they make you jaded. That's yeah, they the make you jaded. Okay. I don't think Okay, they're... cool. Yeah. Um, these books make you jaded <laughs> in a way yeah. that it's like, it's just hard to not lose sight of that sometimes, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Where it's like, like, it's easier to just be like, ah, oh, Ned, you fool, rather than, because, ign- you know, because it's also like, we, we're all rather sad when Ned died. he was right and it still sucked. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Mm-hmm. It's, it's easier to almost blame him than to be like, holy shit, he was amazing, and terrible things can happen to amazing people, you know? Yeah. So. Oh, sorry. Um, okay, I just found an email in the spam, but we'll do it next time. You know what? We <laughs> we have been recording for a really long time. Oh, my God. Um, but, okay. Ah, thank you, Emily, so much for being here. <laughs> thank people, you for having me. This was awesome. <laughs> email us. Do that thing. 
and tell us how much you want Emily back because we want Emily back. Yes. So make it happen. If you demand it, she will do it. (laughs) I don't know. (laughs) Go to her Instagram and demand. (laughs) Go comment on all her posts. You don't know my personal... Well, okay. I'm joking. Don't do that. The the Game of Thrones pod. The Game of Thrones... Oh, you right. Oh, that's yeah. Fine. Yeah, That makes sense. I do run that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because, yeah, okay. And, uh, yeah, follow our Instagram, too, if you want, whatever. And <laughs> Wow, you're great at advertising. <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> okay, you know what? Join it. Please do. It's great. It's fun. Even though Harmeth is so hurt, she still hasn't been able to make her, what is it? like? My a, grand- my grandiose little like collage, collage tribute oh, yeah. to the red I, wedding I put, literally every time i'm like fuck this series and then i leave <laughs> it's okay it'll come i promise it'll come it'll be spam posted over the next few days <laughs> mm. but you know follow it anyway mm-hmm. send me dms hey, and hey. join the discord and have some secret conversations hey, and uh no <laughs> or hang and out also in have the, conversations. In the spoilers for exactly. me and Exactly. <laughs> hang out with yeah, me okay. and Yeah, okay. Do that, I guess. Whatever. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. We have great conversations yeah, in there. Everybody ha- hang out in there and then just tag both Harmouth and Emily just in every sure. single thing you say and then just sure. have them respond to everything and their phones blowing up with notifications. Please. That's fine because that's the only way I get on Discord is if someone tags me because I'm not very good about getting on there. That's so okay. Funny. Good to know. I was joking, but now I'm going to seriously start doing that. Okay. <laughs> Just so like, funny. hey, Emily. Hey, Works Emily. How was your hey, day, Emily? Emily? <laughs> Are you doing okay, Emily? <laughs> I'll send you a picture of my kid because that's what I'm doing mostly. Oh, my God. <laughs> we would love that. Just stay at home. Beauty. Sure. Beauty, I love that. Okay. So, oh, what an episode. Man. Oh, my God. It's three, almost three hours. Holy shit. Okay. Um, <laughs> Sorry for editing. This is what happens. Is what I'm happens? not going to edit any of it. I'm just going to leave it all. <laughs> oh, no. my God. It's Everybody's getting everything. It's wow. fine. All right. I don't think we had a single conversation that was not a complete gem. So or everybody. totally off the rails. It was usually related to at least the show, so that's good. Yeah. yeah. So I no, my sister and I were really bad about, like, <laughs> not not going off things no but those yeah. are some of the best conversations though i think they're hilarious it, when i edit yeah. i smile so yeah. like it makes me laugh again mm-hmm. so it's like I, that's why i know like you know i i think it's funny <laughs> i think so too so yeah everybody go listen to game of Thrones and uh mm-hmm. spam emily on the game of Thrones instagram <laughs> sure <laughs> and uh just you know join their patreon do all the things hey. and uh i guess until next time farewell my friends talk to you later do you want to uh, say something Emily? not today i don't know <laughs> not today. we'll keep it we'll keep it we'll keep it <laughs> not today that's so funny mm.